Yeah, you're checking out Opie and Anthony. Greg Giraldo has joined the program. He, Greg, he absolutely been a while. Yeah, he absolutely killed on the flavor flav roast. Oh yeah, you were the best. Oh well, thank you. You were the best. You were you were good. Yeah, it helps to be racist. Yeah, when you get a, a, a good theme like that, yeah. where you can just be racist. Yeah, when you and no like one's... Well, it comes from the heart, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> you don't really don't... Have, the stuff just writes itself it's on a daily hard, basis, hard doesn't it? just keep flowing. <laughs> Dude, King Lear in a forest fire was just such a beautiful... Yeah, describing uh, Flavor Flav, of oh, course. Yes. Attacks on Brigitte Nielsen. It was really vicious, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Everything arose. I think we yeah. played some of your stuff. Good. Do we still have that, E-Rock? We you can get another play out of that if you find it. Uh, Greg Giraldo playing Gotham Comedy Club here in New York City tonight through Sunday. Also, uh, Dan's got an update on his mom. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, when we laughed less, laughed less. Okay, okay, hold on. Yeah, yeah. I suck. God, I suck. Nathaniel um, was <sighs> at dinner with his mother and his girlfriend, and uh, they have a very uh, a strained relationship. Uh -huh. And uh, he... Um, Called his mother a uh, sociopath. Yeah, really. You made it sound like his mother and girlfriend, like one person, dude. <laughs> so really I, I would have said slash. Oh, okay. Mother slash girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, they got into a very uncomfortable situation. Well, there's uh, more to it. Uh, Than comes from divorced parents, mm -hmm. and uh, he blames his mom on the divorce. He likes daddy much, much more than mommy. Mm -hmm. Mother, yeah, <laughs> mother. Yeah, it's creepy because he calls her mother. If mother, you're yeah. calling your mom mother, mother yeah, there's a problem. There's there's, uh, there's, there's issues. some sort of killing in your. Family. That's yeah, yeah. You're definitely gonna have the knife and the wig and so <laughs> have a girl. In last we left you, Than went to dinner. Yes, with his mother and his girlfriend, and they got into it a little bit, and they were talking about the divorce, and you were blaming mother on the divorce. Yes. And your mother walked out because you called her a sociopath? I called her a sociopath and then I said I didn't like her. Yeah. So she yeah. walked out and said, I hope you have money to pay for this dinner. And he was in Nantucket and they were at a nice restaurant. And, you know, Than doesn't do that well with the show. So he was left with a pretty good bill. <laughs> it was. It just showed up. It's uh, four forty. <laughs> oh. $40. Wow. Damn. Wouldn't have signed on for that second bottle of wine. <laughs> was that three people? Yeah. What drunks? Yep. Really, that's what I'm thinking. And booze. It, these are pretty upscale problems, huh? I was I was dining with mother in Nantucket. <laughs> <laughs> when dining with mother in Nantucket, one ought to keep one's card handy. He is using the proper name for for mommy, because it is Nantucket. Yep. I'm sure they all call their mothers mother. Mother. And you hadn't talked to her since. No. And you got an update on this? Yes, I still haven't. This is all. Uh, via my sister, as mm -hmm. all healthy discussions should happen between a third party. <laughs> uh, she says, uh, oh, she reminded me of the most hurtful thing. The, the thing I hurt her with most was at this dinner, I said, um, with a smile, apparently, I didn't realize I was smiling through this whole discussion, was, I only pretend to like you so I could stay up here. Oh. You said that to her? Yeah. Because Nantucket yeah. is a nice place to visit. Yeah. I only pretend to like you. Because I was, because I knew the break was coming up. You know, we had the vacation. I was like, I could spend X amount of dollars to go to another place, or just there's a, the psychological cost, the non-monetary cost of having to hang out with mother. And it probably would have been better in hindsight just so, spending some cash. Yeah, I should have you did anyway. <laughs> yeah, and uh, wow, four hundred and forty bucks now. Yeah. And uh, wh where does it stand now with with you and mother? <laughs> well, she says that she will never speak to me again until I apologize. And you probably won't be so, apologizing. Yeah, that sounds like a, a freebie for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, yeah. have we call a stalemate. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a pretty pretty uh, stable relationship that comes down to that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lifetime of memories. <laughs> yeah. Unless that's... you apologize over the check, it's all over. Do you have any desire to have a relationship with her? 
No. So you could care less that she said that? Well, I, I have to, I think, like, family functions, we're going to have to figure something out. <laughs> It'll just be weird. If It'll ruin it for everyone in the family because the, all they'll be thinking of is, like, how uncomfortable is this that the mother and son there are, aren't talking, yeah. looking at each other. I have to talk to the mother, and then i got to talk to the son, and I can't, like, cross over conversations. It's like Connie in Godfather 2. Like, yeah. Fredo wanted yeah. to talk to Michael, but he couldn't, so he had to couldn't. talk to, to Connie. <laughs> <laughs> so, let me ask, isn't it weird, like, it, your mother, she, like, let you stay in her place here, right? Like, you, you were living with her in New York recently. Uh, yeah, yeah. And she would let you stay at her place, and then, so she was okay to you, if you just hate her because of the well, way she reacted to your father. Well, I, I have a feeling uh, he was okay with her because she has a lot of money. And, but I mean, uh, she was, and a really nice stay. apartment in New York and a nice place in Nantucket. So he tolerates her. But how about her with you, I'm saying? like, Because her obligation to you as far as uh, being a young man is over. Yeah. So she allowed you to stay at her place, mm -hmm. and then she allows you to come up and stay there with her, and she takes you out to dinner. It's always like a barter, though. It's well, like it's a trans everything's a transaction. So mm. like the second I moved in there, the clock was ticking, and you know, the favors I would have to repair with started to... Like what? Just any... It's just she hasn't collected yet because I've been kind of a... Jerk, because <laughs> but it just it's it wasn't like oh yeah you could stay and there's no problem it was just the uh, she couldn't stop reminding me that I was staying in her place I mean it's still cool that she let me stay there without you know having to pay rent but how she, long um, four or five months but mm -hmm. you know it wasn't but it's not like this motherly gesture of goodwill. <laughs> it's That's like amazing. saving up some points so she could hit him with hit you with them later. So then I will have to do something for her later. Yeah. And this apartment, she doesn't even stay there. She and just that come, time she when they never it, come. She uses yeah. it when she comes to New York every once in a while. So any other normal relationship, your mother would just go, ah, I got an apartment in New York. You, know, you save some money. No, stay there. Yeah, she wasn't you know, being put out at all. Mm -hmm. At all. That's like right. what? She comes down... A couple times a year, if that. It used to if be that. So this apartment's just sitting there. Than is struggling in New York. You know, he's, he's he's making ends meet, but it would be nice if he could live for free and bank that money he would use on rent. Yeah. But with his own mother, it has to be. I'll do this for you, but you. Uh, what, what do you have to do for her like, in, in return? I'll destroy you at dinner, and you have to walk out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like Robin Leach should be hosting this show. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. A different tone. <laughs> <laughs> Lifestyles are the liquored up and dysfunctional. <laughs> yeah. Dave in Massachusetts. The most hurtful thing that Than said is that mother took them to a place where the seared tuna was slightly overcooked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. I'm not earning a lot of relatability points with this. No, no, this isn't. Uh... So what would you have to do for her just because she allowed you to stay in her place for free for four or five months? Uh, I just some. <laughs> well. Eat her box? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh. Now it turns. Not, not, not even funny. Um, well, it's going to sound very selfish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But just stuff that I guess people would normally want to do. <laughs> For their parents, like what? Yeah. Like, would she uh, require a hug, fan? <laughs> yes, <laughs> she demanded. Um, I'm drawing a blank. Just like, just inconveniencing me. Like what? The only example I can come up with is very selfish sounding. Like she wanted to be driven to, to and from her knee surgery. <laughs> 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 Holy Jesus! She puts you up for three months and wants a ride to her knee surgery. What a demanding dude! Bitch. Wow, you need a therapist. Jimmy called it a while Wait ago. A with you. So you? <laughs> Why is that a problem? I can't get over how the mother could ask for so much. <laughs> right. Did she yeah. expect you to help her up the steps with bandages on her knee? What a pig! <laughs> Why is that a problem? Let's get into this. Because he broke her knee in the first place. <laughs> so. She slipped going to fetch him something. <laughs> uh, yeah. So wait. I knew that. I mean, I knew this example wasn't going to be Are the you perfect. An only child? No, you're not an only child. You have the younger youngest. sisters. You're the youngest, youngest of three. Wait, you didn't answer the question, though. Why That's, is that a problem? I don't know. Like, that was, that, that was I felt, normal. It just, it's just the... It was the way she told you, it, or... Were you coddled it, growing up? Um, more or less, yeah. So you're kind of spoiled a little growing up? A little bit. Private okay. schools? Yes. Oy. So you kind of, uh... <laughs> wow. I'm are, wondering if there's any entitlement here on fans' part. I'm we've, not saying that your mother's not... We've lost <laughs> every black listener we've had, <laughs> of, that, w that we've gained over the past few uh, months. Why? They don't get this. Well, the parents are divorced. That'll kind of bring them... <laughs> <laughs> so you... 
Wait a minute. So you kind of coddled and a little spoiled growing up. So part of it might be your mom, and part of it might be like you're a little, yeah, a little bit of an entitlement. Mm. You're bothered because you. Dan's not going to blame himself. No, I'm not, I'm not saying it's totally his fault. I'm not saying he's wrong by his mom either. I'm saying it is, but he won't ever blame himself. <laughs> well, especially as your mom's getting older, this is the time to start driving her to doctors and things. You want to keep yeah. yourself locked in that will. Yeah. You're really playing this game. Yeah, really yeah. Cool. She's somebody you really want to lock in. Yeah. Well, she, well I'm, <laughs> she's not the real cash cow in the family. Oh, father uh, is. Oh, yeah. father is. She's oh, okay. a, a yeah. beneficiary of... Oh, okay. Yeah, I get it. So Than kind of sided on uh, the right uh, side. All right. Well, well, what kind of money? What money. kind of money has he got? What well, not specific numbers? <laughs> 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 the look on the thing. Yeah, I, I'm starting to think. I kind of think nobody. I'm starting to think. Only re- there, how much? Think how much? The only reason he likes father is because father has the cash. No, father. see, that's that's not it. Um, he's nicer. Yeah. I just I don't I'm. I, I'm trying to divorce myself from the, the concept that she that I need to be nice to her just because she's my mom. Like, uh, I'm not a big fan of her. Like, you don't think she's a good person? Yeah, I don't want to so hang just out because with her. Your dad she uh, carried you in her womb. Uh, that she's entitled to your love for the rest of uh, her life. Yeah, yeah. Where's your father live? Um, Connecticut, of course. Connecticut. Mm. So we couldn't he help you out with the rent? Yeah. Okay, well, you can just ignore her. Ignore we'll try her. therapy. I mean, you know. Yeah. Oh, you do good. I'm doing that oh, too. Good helps. Oh, you're right. That's what this is right here. Yeah, it was. It was like, <laughs> I consider this. Gordon, I never heard this sound so sweet before. Yeah, uh, that's good. That really helps. Well, it's kind sure. of. Uh, it's, just, it's the new gym. Yes. <laughs> it's the gym that goes to therapy gym and then tries to let let this little knowledge trickle down to all of uh, us yeah. because I started bringing up some stuff from my childhood and Jimmy had it all figured out. That was right. Just from a couple of therapy sessions, he figured out oh. that I was the child of an alcoholic father, so uh-huh. that uh, gives me these uh, these. Uh, that's why I'm paranoid right. and I have guns and, and I always think people are going to uh, invade my home and that's and why I have I need to weaponry. Fix everything. You need to be yeah. in control of your whole situation. Right, right. You never know when daddy and might get drunk and give you a good smack. That's That That was it, and pretty much. It has nothing to do with watching the news and seeing home invasions no. in my town <laughs> shoot up 10,000% that I wanted to buy a shotgun. Well, that's part. Of course it is. But I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about the obvious. It's like, we, we, you know, hey, look, we all are products. I don't know why I do it. Why, you know, why have I ever laid on the floor with bags under me? I don't know. <laughs> it's like little psychological reasons. You saw your father being violently, so you're afraid of violence. Mm-hmm. It's not, you don't have to be a psychologist to see that. But he's, he's bringing it to the show. He says, I have an anger issue. It's like, come on. Yeah, he's now our therapist. <laughs> right, he's, Jimmy big, will sit his seat down, and Than is now sitting on the couch, <laughs> yes, lit- quite literally. Yeah, just lay back there, and uh, Doctor Jimmy is in. Look, I don't, I don't want you to go to therapy. Because I think you could give us some really good radio, man. I don't want you fixed. Uh, don't worry, that won't help. <laughs> no, no. Because well, she's, yeah, she's not going. So yeah. I still have to absorb all that. Do you think? That's kind of a morbid question, but it does happen. Do you think if she uh, passes on that you will have any feelings of guilt and, and feelings that you didn't resolve things? Because that always happens with people. No matter how angry they are at a family member and they don't talk to them and stuff, the second they drop dead, it's all this regret and I should have done this and blah, blah, blah. Zero. Zero. Wow. So when did you start? Zero. 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 When did you start hating uh, mother? That's a good question. Um, when did you lose the love for mother? You say because of the, you blame her on the divorce, but it sounds like maybe before that. No, it's like it just I needed perspective on the situation and realized that it's not normal to like have every dinner end in screaming and, you know. Mm. Yeah, well. I kind of remember that. Well, yeah. the, not I mean if you're Italian it is. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh God! I've I've told that one before. I, I I vividly remember a plate of spaghetti hitting the wall and just running down the wall, and that is a memory I have as a child. And you think if you save poor Catherine, there will no more spaghetti hitting the wall. <laughs> is that spaghetti still hitting the wall, Anthony? Uh, we got Jim in Boston. He can relate to Than. What's up, Jim? What's up, guys? Hey. Listen, my mother, same way. Call me up and just bother me. And call me all hours of the day. I'm an only child. She would just ask me to do ridiculous things for her. Like what? Uh, she asked me to take her for surgery one day. <laughs> <laughs> what is the problem with that? If mother needs surgery, I think yeah. you should give her a lift. Call an ambulance, bitch. 
Huh? You there? Yeah, we're listening. Go ahead. So she asked me to take her for surgery one day, and you know it was it was like eleven o'clock in the morning, and then I had to wait. And then I had to go back and pick her up. I mean, it was just, you know, and then she wanted me to stay with her and take what? her to the pharmacy and everything. It was just a pain, and, you know, I couldn't do it. All well, these cancer, you know, getting cancer, getting tumors removed doesn't always happen that easily. Yeah. Sometimes it, <laughs> it takes, takes time. I, I sense some uh, sarcasm here. They're making fun of you. Okay. Jim, you're making fun of Than? No, not at all. You really believe this? Not at all. I'm, I'm telling you. My mother called me up the other night and started the fight with me. With uh, with me over my son's birthday party. What what was the fight about? But it wasn't even a birthday party. We're having a birthday party for him on Sunday, and his birthday was on last Wednesday. And we had like a little cake because he's five years old. And then he told her we're having cake, and then she hung up on him. And then she called me back on my cell phone and started screaming at me, <laughs> saying that I should have uh, you know I should have told her that it, she was coming. She lives thirty miles away. Oh, okay. Um, didn't invite her. She won't do that. We didn't. Oh, didn't no. invite her for the cake. If, if we would have, if we would have invited her, she wouldn't have come. Wouldn't have, it doesn't matter. Then you should have gotten out of the way and, and invited her and just saved yourself the aggravation. You dope. What's the matter with I you? I already did. I, you know what? I've done it in the past, and uh, it doesn't help. All right. So there's no nothing, solution. Nothing you just, you can whatever. Do for a woman like this. All right. All right, thank you, Jim. Awesome. My, my, uh, my father lived. Uh, my father was living way up in the country in Connecticut, and he was die he, he, had, he had cancer and had to go in for chemo. But they they didn't know how many treatments it would take, and I had to drive to take him into chemo, which was like a two and a half hour drive. So on the fight, you know, on the of course it's kind of sad. He's on the he's died. on the last one. We're taking him, and they're like, yeah, I don't know. If you, you really probably shouldn't come in for any more treatment. And like a tiny part of me had this enormous relief. Like, oh, <laughs> oh okay. God! So that'll be it then. They no pretty more. much said, yeah, this ain't working, and. <laughs> And you were relieved because uh, oh, yeah. no more driving. Yeah, no more driving. No more driving to try to keep my dying dad alive. Oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> Greg Giraldo, everyone. Hey, we uh, got to take a break. So Greg awesome. Giraldo is... Awesome comedy <laughs> club, uh, what, tonight through Sunday? Yeah, yeah tonight through him. Sunday. And uh, just a little taste. He killed on the Flavor Flavor Roast. Here's Greg Giraldo as we go to break. It's Opie and Anthony. This is, really, this is exciting, Flavor. It really is. This is an honor. I've, uh, I've never roasted an oily cadaver before. You're like a turd with teeth. Look at yourself. I love the crown. You look like King Lear got trapped in a forest fire. You are one black You're like a skeleton wrapped in electrical tape. You look like Idi Amin after a three-year crack binge on the sun. <laughs> one for the studio. It's Opie and Anthony. Greg wow. Giraldo in... Uh, in studio today, he's playing, what, uh, Gotham. Gotham Comedy Club tonight right. through Sunday. He's hilarious. Do we have a, a phone you. number for that? 212-367-9000. Uh, uh, it's a beautiful club. It's on, like, uh, where is it? It's on 23rd, 23rd Street between yeah. 7th and 8th Avenue. Yeah, Mazzilli moved it. It's a really, really nice room. Yeah. For everybody in the New York area. Free we got Seth rub. McFarlane right. calling in to say hi. Hey, Seth. Hey. Of course, uh, we're talking about Family Guy. How are you, Seth? I'm doing good. I could use about a barrel of a wake. Oh, you, you heard us do the live read for Awake, the energy drink? Yes, I did. Oh, uh, why, are you a little tired this morning? It's, uh, you know, I'm out here in L.A., it's about, it's about 5.30 in the morning. In, in why is that? It's because it's like 8.30 here. Yeah, I'm confused. It's amazing. It's, it's just, it's a, it's a cruel uh, joke of nature. Have you, did you stay up, or did you actually have to wake up for this phoner? No, I, 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 uh, I woke up about uh, three minutes ago. <laughs> uh, and you'll do this phone, or you got a whole like bunch of them you got to do. Or are you gonna do this one and then just go right back to bed? Uh, yeah, yeah. This 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 high this uh, high energy uh, voice that you're hearing is 100 percent real. So you guys just got like syndication. Um, were you syndicated before that, or am I saying you just got it because CW11? We uh, no, we we just uh, started the, the show. Just went into syndication. Uh, I think last week. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah. No, what's amazing about that? I gotta jump in here. The show got canceled. I did, yeah. That canceled. The fans pretty much brought it back, and now it's a huge hit, and now you're up to the syndication point. With syndication, the show. which, you know, that's just the huge checks. Yeah. The huge checks. Yeah, we, we, you know, we went from uh, rock bottom uh, up to the, the, the peak of where you want to be as a television series, so it's, it's, it's kind of nice. So do you get all the money, and all the voice people kind of sit there and badmouth you because <laughs> they don't get any syndication money? <laughs> oh, they're, they're incredibly resentful of me for my money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but Seth I'd does be. a lot of the voice. 
voices on the show. So, yeah, but, but other people are the in main, there, too. But he does the main voices. They, they, he can get rid of pretty much everybody. Pretty else. much everybody and, and just do would, all the voices? Yeah, the show would still uh, do just fine. <laughs> How many episodes before you got syndicated, Seth? Uh, I believe it's the first... Um, God, I, you know, it's, it's the first few seasons, so it's, it's, it's just about everything up to, up to uh, where we are now, I think. They have no no problem with content or anything. Uh, some of these people, uh, you know, there's there's always there's always issues with uh, you know if a show airs earlier in the day. There there are certain things. You know, we we air at nine o'clock at night on Fox. The syndicated episodes there a little earlier in the day. There's some stuff that you know obviously we can't do. So they're going to cut it out. I mean, uh, you know, for for the most part, the shows are are. Um, are, are intact. I mean, the stuff that 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 isn't in there is is just stuff that you know the the FCC is <laughs> sort of right. decreed is 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 not. Oh, uh, uh, the FCC, they know creativity. Come yeah, on, they're the, give it they're to the best. They they're just know. Guys. You're not afraid about uh, like some of the. Here it is at night on Fox. You could do some stuff that's pretty politically incorrect, and yeah. people kind of get why you're doing it because it's it's uh, the hour that it's on, and it's an adult cartoon. Um, if you start putting it on in the daytime, it's not even the daytime. It's seven thirty. It's only an hour and yeah. a half earlier. Yeah. Well, still, it's that's, it's the the children. That's what I'm talking about. The stupid children. Uh, are you a little nervous that you're going to be uh, on the radar, and people are going to say, "Oh my God, look at this tasteless blind joke they're making," and well, you know, I think people say that already. I, th I think, yeah. I think, I think uh, you know, there's, there's already th that 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 crowd is going to be they're going to be angry no matter what we do. Um, I think the trick is, and you guys have done this pretty well, is to get every single group mad at you so they don't know who to, <laughs> whose call to take or who's marching. Like if someone's <laughs> protesting in front, they don't know. There's blind people, the deaf people, retarded people, the handicapped. <laughs> Yes. So they're 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 basically sitting there like uh, you know with, with with a phone on each ear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not like your big episode of gay, black, Jewish, Asian women, and why we hate them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! You know what? They, they tell you what. We we need a story for this week. So uh, there you go. I might just use that. So Jimmy Norton. What season are you in right now? Uh, we are we are finishing up uh, writing season six. That's amazing. So seasons one through five now are, are being shown like... Uh, well, volume five is now available uh, in DV, uh, in stores. But I'm saying for syndication, like are you, the, the whole first five seasons now are, are released for syndication. Uh, that, that, that's correct. Yeah. Did you get Seinfeld money? Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not quite at that level, but it's... Uh, you know, it, it, it ain't... It ain't uh, He'd it be ain't mad. Chicken feed. Where's my money? Yeah. <laughs> the guy, family guy took it. I already got $250 million to go into syndication. Or is it just money with Seinfeld's face on it? Might as well. Seinfeld be. money. You know, they, they, better they, get better they, Kramer's face. They, 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 <laughs> they, they, they pay me and, uh, get it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they I'm sorry. Me, uh, my Seth, excuse me. I apologize. I shamed you into a laugh. I apologize. <laughs> Isn't it? Right. Yeah. Well, I'm to move on. I, I apologize. You get it. <laughs> rib, rib. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Sorry. <laughs> I said, I just said they 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 pay me in uh, DVDs of the first season of Twenty Four. Oh, that's, oh, yeah, that's oh right. wow! There you oh, go. Travis doesn't mind that kind of pay. No. I've never seen Twenty Four. Love with the goddamn guy. I heard it's uh, I heard it's good, and other people have said it sucks. You know, it's so funny. That's exactly where I'm at. I've never seen it, and I've heard those two things. Do you watch like other cartoon like like stuff like The Simpsons, or do you are you, is that, you like view that as competition? You don't want to be influenced by. You know, I I. I, I it's funny. I I, I, I I watch The Simpsons periodically. I don't I don't I don't catch it every week. But I, I that's that's about the only uh, current animation that I that I watched. There was a show called Home Movies on Adult Swim that I thought was hilarious. But um, but it's gone now. So you know I don't I don't really uh, there's there's not there's not a whole lot of TV that I watch in general. Best you, don't you hate? Them being called cartoons, because uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I heard him say, you know, animated. Oh, did uh, I just do that? It's an animated. Okay, sorry. You know, your uh, your uh, funnies. <laughs> you know, the funny papers things that move. <laughs> yeah. it's, like, it's like when you're a comedian, people go, you know, that little sketch you do, where you put a red <laughs> yeah. nose and you dance for the amusement of drunken patrons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I I prefer that you call them uh, 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 moving animated. 
laughing illustration. Yes, features. What would you say is the greatest? I mean, you, you know, you guys are like a legitimate powerhouse sitcom. I mean, uh, even though it is animated, what would you say is the greatest sitcom of all time if you had to pick one, or one that you, you think you were influenced by? Probably All in the Family. That's, that's probably the, uh, that's, that's, that's certainly at the top of my list. Yeah, and that's something they couldn't make today. No, you're right. They no, couldn't. they they could. I mean, that, the, that's another Carol O'Connor's dead. Well, <laughs> besides that, but that yeah, that type of sitcom. <laughs> there are things. There are things that that I think they said on All in the Family that probably would be flat out forbidden by the FCC now. I mean, it's 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 a lot. Yeah. Oh, Charles in Charge, I think was probably my favorite. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, brilliant, yeah. genius. Yeah. It might bring it back now that Bayo's got a little yeah. bit of a resurgence. Oh, some heat. All right, the, the big, some heat. The big argument, Seth, has been Charles in charge or Joni loves Chachi. Which should he have his throat one. cut for first? Uh, you know, they're they're both so damn watchable. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I I would have to say Charles in charge uh, because because it has Willie Ames, who who as we mm. know is now uh, is now Bible man. Is he yeah. really? Did yeah. he finally oh, yeah. go that route? Yeah, he was pretty much bottom of the barrel. Plus, he lived oh. under the stairs, didn't he? He came up with yeah. a character called Bible Man, and yeah, he's got episodes he's got and everything. Show, yeah. He's got a show on, on one of the church channels yeah. where it's, he, he plays a superhero. What the hell am I promoting this for? <laughs> yeah, look at you. <laughs> is he syndicated? The uh, Wow, it's amazing how many people. Yeah, no one ever is doing well and goes, I'm, I'm just going to find Jesus. Yes. <laughs> I uh, really am. I'm, it's yeah. always the bottom of the barrel. They've been on the VH1 <laughs> Shows and yeah. just showed how their life fell apart, and then uh, all of a sudden Jesus creeps in. Yeah, prison seems to be a good time. <laughs> that yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, nobody ever gets Jesus while they're committing a rape or yeah. a sodomy. It's always after. Yeah. Once they get sentenced, while they're committing it, <laughs> it's like yeah. you know, wow. You know what, Buttercup? I'm gonna have to take a time out for a second. <laughs> I'm gonna unball my fist. I'm not gonna hit you, and I'm gonna walk out this door a new man. Never. <laughs> You guys don't need me for this, do you? Well, uh, no, we well. like having you in the background. What do you, what do you think of um, the? Because uh, you you like you got a great, strange, quirky sense of humor and stuff. What do you think about some of the sitcoms coming out this season, uh, like that caveman one? I, I knew I knew that was the one you were going to mention. Yeah, um, you know, anytime they can make a uh, television show out of a commercial, I think that's <laughs> the best of what America. Is. Yeah. I was looking forward to about five or six seasons of the Where's the Beef Lady back in the 80s. Never panned out. That's, that's <laughs> Where every time she just walks in and goes, Where's the Beef? And, and everyone Yoff, laughs. And Yafit Koto runs out nude and shows her. <laughs> 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 a different celebrity every week just runs out yeah. and attacks her. Richard sure. Keel. <laughs> Richard <Yeah>. Keel. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, the, the, you know, where, where's the uh, time to make the donuts guy, you know? He, he, yeah, yeah, he could have had a show. Here's a bit of trivia. He was actually one of the guys in the Marathon Man who recognized Laurence Olivier. Yes. He was trying to sell him right. diamonds, and then that other, that other tattletale followed him. I know you, you murderer. <laughs> Wrecked the whole deal. Yeah. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I don't know. It just seems um, like uh, they've just run out of ideas. Yeah. Yeah, it it, it 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 may be. I mean, it's you know. I think I I do think part of it is is um, you know, there's just not as much you're allowed to do nowadays. Uh, yeah. It, it, so you, you know, you, you, you I don't know, cr cr crazy and loony is uh, you know the, the the less you can do subversively, the more kind of crazy and loony and um, you know out there you get, which is. I don't know. It doesn't always work, but I, I you know, I, I have not seen the caveman pilot. It may be absolutely ingenious. I'm sure it's hysterical. My my, my guess is it that sucks. It's not, but uh, you know what I hear they're doing? Could be wrong. I, I hear that they're doing interviews, and they're bringing around two two of the caveman guys, and they they come in character and stay in character the entire interview. They will not break character. Not a funny thing for the entire interview. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Right. And I swear, if that's true, we are booking them, and I am going to hit them with a club and see if he breaks character. Yeah, but, and it, but they replaced the original guys from the... Which, yeah, they, they didn't even have the guys from the commercial. Bad. I mean, you know, the, yeah. How bad did they have to suck? <laughs> Where they had to get uh, yeah. actors to play the caveman. You don't seem caveman -y enough. You kind of yeah. lose it after 60 seconds. Which this uh, annoys me so much because I always wanted to do a sitcom uh, about the Affleck duck, and now it's just going <laughs> to seem like I stole it. You <laughs> ripped that idea off. 
no, nothing. <laughs> Not even deserving of hey, that. Do, do you guys get away with more content, do you think? Because, you, you, I mean, the Family Guy's a pretty edgy show. Do you guys think you got away with a little bit more content because you're animated? Um, yeah, the, the, you always, you know, you can always get away with more because it's an animated show. Yeah, why is that? We're trying to figure that out. I, well, you know, it's one, st one step removed from reality. I mean, we, yeah, you know, we, we, Peter and Lois are uh, having a fist fight. I don't think you could really do that with uh, Ray and Deborah on Everybody Loves Raymond. <laughs> yeah. we, we were trying to tell everybody that we were actually animated on our show. So we could get, so away, we could with get away with more, but it didn't work. We still yeah. get in trouble. Well, that's, that's an outrageous claim. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. All right. What is it? What, what's the big plug before we get you off the phone? The, uh, the I, you know, I guess the big plug would be our uh, our hour long uh, season premiere uh, this this Sunday night on uh, on on Fox, Ooh. which is a TV station. Yes, and, heard of um, it. We, uh, you know, we, we did this episode that is basically the story of Star Wars from start to finish. Uh, mm. we, we did it with the gracious permission of Lucasfilm. It took us about a year to do. Wow. And it's, uh, I, I think it's, uh, it's, it's funny, and, and I think it's also uh, might be the most spectacular looking uh, <laughs> hour of primetime TV animation that, 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 uh, that I think you've seen. You actually got Lucas's permission, huh? Yeah, yeah. That's they, pretty they amazing. About it. They, they yeah. said, you, know, you must have not brought up that Christmas special. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 I think they try to keep that under wraps. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, it's everywhere. I love to, it. And you have to promise, if you, if you draw George Lucas, that you give him a chin. <laughs> wow, is he awful from the side. <laughs> 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 um, it, it was it, it was fun to do, and it's and it's again it's, it's also the first it's the first hour long episode we've done. So. Did you get to go out to the Skywalker Ranch? As, yeah, I'm heading up there. Uh, heading up uh, this weekend, actually. It's be fun. How is that? Uh, you know, I, I haven't been. I'm 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 uh, oh, going up in a few days. You're gonna go? God, that would be the coolest goddamn place. I bet. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've heard it's. Uh, Take pictures. Send me it, some. No, I've heard it. It's like Neverland without the sodomy. <laughs> so why go? <laughs> Can't have all the fun. <laughs> yes, it's like it's like Neverland without the repressed memories. <laughs> Watch him makes the X-wing fighter disappear. <laughs> makes. Yeah, it's all right. You it put sucks. X's wherever you want. You know. I'm just adding in. Well, yeah, Seth, plural. congratulations on the success, man. I mean, it, it's really great. You guys are like a real phenomenon, and, and with the DVDs and the syndication and stuff, and, and uh, just congratulations. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Now you may go back to sleep, sir. Oh, thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> we'll talk to you again, man. Yeah, right. Seth MacFarlane, everyone. Take it easy, Seth. Take care. Right. There he goes. I didn't there realize I was around for that long. Syndication, that's nice nice dollars. Wow. That show is dead in the water. Yeah. It canceled, and they brought it back to life, and now it's just beyond huge. Once yeah. you get that syndication. <sighs> All right. Dude, they probably, they, I bet you, I don't want to go crazy. I bet you he uh. got, uh, they probably gave him $5,000. Oh, yeah, easy. <laughs> Couple, two or three grand. Perhaps right. more than that, Jim. <laughs> Let's say hi to Mark in Jersey. Mark. Yeah, what's up, man? Hey, what's up? Listen, we're saying that. Is he still around? Yeah, hold Sam. On. Yeah. He's walking around. Go over there, Sam. Ugly. Hold on, hold on. We're running out of his, show here. His, he's wearing his I hate mother shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mark's got something for you, Sam. Go ahead. All right, Dan, you better, uh, I would appreciate your mother while she's still around, because if uh, anything happened to her, like happened to mine, she'll be gone pretty quick. Oh, boy. What happened? Yeah. Pancreatic cancer? Uh, what's that? What happened? Pancreatic cancer? No, her ex-boyfriend came in my house early in the morning and shot her in the head twice right in front of me. Jesus. What were you doing while this happened, sir? You can't say that well, casually. That was, what, well, no, actually, the, that's what woke me up was her screaming, and then uh, I jumped out of bed, and a second later, I hear two gunshots. Oof. So did he know yeah. you were in the house? Yeah. Me why, and my sister were. Why didn't he shoot you? Because uh, she just broke up with him, like, the night before. No, saying. why didn't he shoot you, though? Yeah. You know, you're like a Good witness? Question. Yeah, I went. No, he turned himself in right away. Oh, he did. He didn't care. He just wanted. And her. how does this relate to Than? Because if he doesn't appreciate, you know, what if some god for happened to his mother, and then something like that, wouldn't he feel bad that you know? <laughs> wouldn't he feel bad? I love that he uses that as yeah. like a cautionary example of why you should be nice to your mother. <laughs> you really ought to be nice to your mother because you know what? You never know. That's One day, her ex boyfriend's going to come in and shoot her twice yeah. in the head. Extreme example. So I think I can speak for Than when I say that he would paint a target on her head while she was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Than, would you feel bad if your mom was no longer with us? 
Um, if she got shot in a violent crime, that I mean that works on a whole bunch of different levels. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Something traumatic like that, not just you know slowly dying of some cancer or some shit like that. Or whoa, so whoa, hey. That. Wow, we almost made it. Yeah, we almost made Thank it today. Thank you, sir. Well, as long as we just don't hang out, I don't have to worry about that, right? So, yeah. <laughs> so if she's killed violently, that would bother you. If anybody was killed violently in front of me, it'd bother me. All right, but let's say it's a car crash. Uh, as long as they don't have to survey the wreckage. <laughs> okay, yeah. Just put it out of sight, out of mind kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, I hear you. Wow, he doesn't like mother. Uh, we're going to continue on XM. Greg Giraldo in studio. He's going to be performing uh, performing at Gotham Comedy Club tonight through Sunday. Phone number 212-367-9000. we got to get out of here. If you're not joining us at XM Satellite Radio, we'll see you tomorrow. The Opie and Anthony Virus. Get infected. It's Opie and Anthony continuing with Greg Giraldo. Uh, Will Simpson on instant feedback from his home. I I, I, I don't know what you're getting at. I, all in caps, he writes, Can't you stupid bastards answer your live feedback? Maybe you need to hire someone who can read to read them to you. And then he writes, The first step for retard rehab is admitting you're retarded. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah? Funny. Yeah. That guy's a card. He is a card. And he does have his 12 steps down pretty well. <laughs> Maybe we didn't want to read that on the air because it's just stupid. All right, anyway. Uh, Greg Geraldo will be at Gotham tonight through Sunday. Geraldo always has new material. It bugs me. Every time I see you, you got something topical. Thanks, Jim. It's Thanks. It's really irritating. It's, a, it's always <clears throat> something good that's about what's been in the news in the last three days. I'm like, fuck. Well, Jim, you know, I as an artist. Skip jokes, can I point out? As an artist. <laughs> as, <laughs> as, an artist. <laughs> as an artist, yes. Uh, that, you know, as an artist, my work. Anybody, anybody as soon as someone says, as an artist, you know, they're about to say something <laughs> ridiculously unbearable. Unless it's the end of the sentence and the beginning is, I love to get my cock sucked. <laughs> as an artist. As an artist. Oh, I almost forgot about the shift over. <laughs> yeah, the big <laughs> changeover. It happens. I can't stand when uh, you see an interview with an actor or an actress, oh. and they're talking, and they go... Well, she taught me so much. Yeah. You know, well, she's, she's, uh, and she's talking about, you know, the character. <laughs> it's you that's playing it. Shut yeah, up. Yeah. Say, I, mean, I go into I a bar, uh, I do this, I do that. She's so sensitive and so. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you self important twat. It was you pretending. Yeah. yeah, you were making believe. You were playing make believe. And then as soon as the movie's over, she's on to the next one, and she yeah, pretty much yeah. is like, she's fuck that the character the and fuck her. Well, and I, I love this one too. That character stayed with me for so long. Yeah. I would wake up having nightmares. I actually started living the life oh. of. Did you really? How about like a, the the, the like, a, like a C or D list actress that asked her about a role? And she's like, well, I was drawn to the material. You know, I was drawn. I was drawn to the characters. Oh yeah, you were not drawing the money. The fact you haven't worked yeah. in twelve years, <laughs> you chose to you play. Mean, yeah, uh, Miss you mean Piggy. someone handed you a script? I was drawn <laughs> right, to the right. character of Benjamin Franklin <laughs> yeah, on yeah, this yeah. bill. <laughs> you were drawn to the fact that he said yes. Yeah, yeah <laughs> this <laughs> character <laughs> really. As I read it, it really spoke to me, and I realized like, well, I, spoke to me. That my. <laughs> Car has been repossessed. <laughs> oh, I hate that shit. Doesn't Melanie Griffith have fucking almost a uh, stroke mouth? She, or oh, Meg yeah, Ryan? Yeah. I'm thinking of Meg Ryan. Oh, Meg they Ryan. all do now. I, everyone from that era, all these women that were like perky or cute yeah. back in the 80s, now have those duck lifts, the collagen thing, the face lifting, they, their eyes are crooked because like they didn't get them right. They walk around surprised the whole time. Yeah, they're surprised and they got the duck mouth. Yeah. You know what I saw for the first time I haven't seen in years and I just haven't flipped through was on that the Ve- you know, show uh, Las Vegas with that Laura Flynn Boyle's on there now? Uh-huh. Oh, Holy yeah. Holy shit. Because she's, she's, <laughs> she's got to weigh 80 pounds top, seriously. Yep. And she's got these lips. She's got ridiculous <laughs> puffy, stupid lips. She looks like a pencil with lips. It's the most absurd thing. Uh, how they do that, that surgery, the collagen injections or whatever the hell it is, and go, yeah, this is, this is what I was looking for. <laughs> yeah. I wanted this. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm distracted because Kim, I don't know what she's getting at here. Kim in Wisconsin, go ahead. You're on the Opie and hey. Anthony show. Hey, I'm just wondering if you guys ever had something so good it made your ass water. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mexican food. <laughs> That's why I'm distracted. Uh, explain, Kim, further. Uh, have you ever had a meal 
so good. You had to lay a towel down. You're leaking so bad. It was so good. You leak from your ass uh, when you enjoy your food. Wait, you're not talking about, like, uh, the explosive diarrhea? No, 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 no. It's so good, it just... Yeah, she should. She should ask. Uh, tell the story in Somalia and see. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What does this tell us about a culture? Yeah. Wait. Or she should tell a, this to a doctor, she maybe. A virus. You ever have a monkey fuck you in the mouth so well that your asshole leaks and your eyes do? Kim, what are you talking about? What was the food you ate that was so good that your there was water? What, it makes your ass water. It makes your ass water. I've had my husband. My husband makes jerky that is so good that. It's squish, squish, squish. I hate you. Yeah, this might be gross. Squish, on the squish, planet. squish. But don't you guys want to know more? Like, no. the water just starts dripping out, pouring out, leaking out, seeping oh, out. My what? husband makes jerky. That's so good. <laughs> Anyone who says my husband makes jerky, nothing bright is coming out of it. Jerky or that turkey? Be good. Jerky. 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 Okay, so what kind of water? Is it seeping, leaking, what? Oh, I don't know. It all depends on who, how actually good the meal is. Oh, I um. Is this your bit? Yeah. Are you trying to is start it? a bit on our show? Like you're not explaining no, yourself. Never. You have to lay a towel down. You get naked and what? It's, it, it, it's it's it soaks up the water coming out of your ass because your dad because <laughs> your your husband makes good jerky. He makes anything good. <laughs> really? Oh my god! I don't get her. We really don't get you. Is this a Baba Booey waiting to happen? What are we getting out of this? Oh, never. It's just a phrase that my husband and I have always said when we've had a really good meal that was so good it made our ass water. I know it's just, it's just an expression, like saying, <laughs> ah, my teeth are floating. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's devoid of anything interesting. It's just awful. <laughs> are you a cheese head? This is a horrible call. Exactly. Oh, no. I'm actually, I'm actually on my way to Colorado right now. We've moved from Wisconsin to Colorado. To oh, Colorado. Right. Oh, yeah. Why? Go there. Why'd you bother? Like, I can understand moving from Wisconsin to New York or L.A., Miami, yeah. something like that. Why are you moving from one dull place to another? To make good jerky. Uh, make good ass-watering just, jerky. <laughs> actually, no, they have ass-watering food there. <laughs> See, here she good. goes. Wow, all right. Here's what bugs me about That's her. a hot shit. She huh? said ass-watering. Think we'd go, like, like ooh, ooh. it's not catching on, the ass No, no. Oh. Stop it's trying to make a catchphrase or it's something. Not catchy. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. Well, you take care, guys. Behave. Oh, but, behave. Oh, you too. Oh, well, uh, we'll behave. try. Yeah, you can't but... behave. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, Jim. Ass watering in Colorado. <laughs> I hope it freezes. I hope your asshole freezes to an anthrax blanket. <laughs> <laughs> an <anthrax> Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're doing the Miss Pal Talk contest tomorrow. Let's remind yes. the ladies out there. Girls, 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 attention. I feel like I've seen um, a lot more women on Pal Talk the last few days. Are they They're warming up, up for the contest? Like, is this chick real with her cleavage? Duh. That's what they tell me whenever I go. Is that chick real or is that like a tape or something? Duh. 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 Is, is Celia for real or is that like uh, a tape? Celia. Showing a lot of cleavage. Is she getting ready for the contest tomorrow? I don't know. I don't even have her up. I'm looking at the lovely uh, Nora. I'm looking at Debris. I'm looking at Lil. I'm looking at Vicky. Who's the one on top of the fat tit? Celia. Vicky. Oh, Vicky has giant breasts. Boy, does she. So tomorrow we got five hundred dollars for uh, for the winner of the Miss Pal Talk contest. Anything goes. Oh, Vicky looks like me up. with a wig. No offense, Vicky. But I was seeing myself in you. Oh my God! Oh, what's wrong with you? Look at her. She's Jim she's Norton cute. with a wig. She looks like me. Uh, uh, Vicky, could you pull your hair back really tight? No, just don't smile or anything. Just look straight ahead and pull your hair back. I don't know why I'm seeing me and Vicky. <laughs> I, I just want to see her pull her hair just, back. I think Vicky's pull cute. Pull it back. Let's see. What's wow. wrong with Vicky, uh, okay. Jimmy? I didn't say anything wrong with her. I like me. Wow, she does look like she could be There's your a sister little a little bit. A little now, bit. Now, Vicky, getting out now, cry and try to uh, talk a hooker out of that extra 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Now pay a Russian to, to do a chili dog on your chest <laughs> and then hate yourself. And try to hug your girlfriend and hope that the smell isn't there. LOL. LOL. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> well, the ladies are warming up. Who's for, uh, voting on this, by the way? Yeah, who is voting? You guys. We are. We're uh, the judges. All right. And anything oh, wow. goes, and it's $500. I try to get the prize money up, but some dumb lawyer thing.
Of course, it's another dumb lawyer you thing. You can't change the contest once it starts. Can't change the contest rules. Is this- what, is, what is it? The fucking prime directive? I don't what, know. What, what, we can change whatever we want. You know that I asked for a pair of Foo Fighter tickets they're playing tonight here in New York City? And because of Elliot Spitzer, they can't give me a pair? Wait a minute. Why can't they you give me a You know he started that whole plug all crap? Yeah, but that's, so now that's every- different. But now everything has to be documented. Everything. And the, uh, there's these official forms that are really, really scary. I mean, uh, uh, Tracy, the PD, has to sign them. I think it's Spitz as a cunt. Language. He is. Yeah. Dude, oh, because... Fucking guy, man. Because now you can only uh, no. give out a certain amount of tickets to staff, or then it's considered plugola. It, it's this whole thing. You know why? They took something that was a problem, and then they, they go into areas where it wasn't a problem. To try to fix it, like the payola thing and plugola, there was record companies coming in and giving massive amounts of cocaine and money to uh, DJs to play records. Okay, understand that could be an issue. F- they fixed that, and then just hey, could I have a couple of tickets to go to a show? Becomes yeah. a, a problem. It becomes a huge issue. But is it if you so? Got- they've already given out uh, the the amount of tickets they're allowed to to the staff, so they can't give any more to the staff uh, staff of K Rock. That sounds like bullshit. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> what about the they cocaine part? Is that yeah, can we still get coke? And- <laughs> right. <laughs> that explains Mandy. <laughs> Wait, you can't even get free CDs? What's that about, E-Rock? Most of the time you can't get free CDs because the, uh, the record company only issues you a certain amount, and that amount has to be given away on the air. You can't give it to staff or it's considered plugola. Yeah, and it plug-ola. all has to be documented. Every CD you give away, you got to uh, explain how you gave it away, to who, you have to have so an like, idea. their name, their, their, all their info. So you're uh, telling me that my friend's restaurant, right, like my buddy got to play, and he's giving me some money, he goes, throw out some mentions, and I'm doing it like there's a problem with that. <laughs> Uh, no, that's nah, fine. That's fine, yeah. <laughs> McDonald's, everybody McDonald's? Yeah. yeah. My friend, his name is Ted King. Um, <laughs> piece of McDonald's. By the way, uh, Bill K from Philly writes, Hey, Opie, Dan Gross in Philly is saying that Kid Chris is going to replace you guys in the morning when your contract is up. Who's Dan Gross? <laughs> he, <laughs> like, he, didn't mean. he writes the gossip column down there in uh, Philly. <laughs> here, here it is. The Pal Talk Prize cannot go up because of bonding and registration laws in certain states. Mm. What the fuck? That's more lawyer talk for let's just knock all the fun out of everything. Why are they complicating radio now? They already complicated everything else in this stupid world. Now it's radio? Used to be able to give away prizes for blowjobs under the console. What the fuck happened? If it goes over $600, the prize, we have to exclude New York and Florida. According to Will. Why? 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 Is that because of Elliot Spitzer? I don't get it. So where's that rule? And why Florida? How fucking... I, I can see New York. It's it's kind of the center of the world. Yeah. But Florida stinks. So, and who's got more than 600 bucks in Florida? Exactly. It's fucking flat shithole. Yeah. Just a long, flat <laughs> shithole. <laughs> so... Is a mountain? No, it's a speed bump. It's a fucking <laughs> cunty state. It's a cunty boot state. No one likes Florida. Bunch of fucking old people and faggoty trees. So we'll let you... <laughs> faggoty trees. <laughs> doesn't palm like, trees. Doesn't like the palm no, tree? They're awful. They're the fucking robe wearers of fucking trees. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like it because there's no real shade involved. It's Those awful. dumb things. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Well, yeah. so I guess the rumor down in Philly is that uh, Kid Chris is replacing us. Yeah, they don't know what to do with us. Regular radio doesn't know what to do with us, and uh, satellite radio really doesn't know what Where to do with us. Where did that rumor come from? It's in the paper today, supposedly. Right, Kid Chris, in the, in the search. I'm trying to find it. Just write Kid Chris, and you'll find it. Dan Gross, Kid Chris. Mm-hmm. That's all you have to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, I guess. Why? They, they love us. What they happen. They do, but XM controls us for an extra six months, and our contracts, uh, you know. I'm out of here. I'll fucking leave in a second. You guys need lawyers sitting in here with you. Constantly. We are constantly at battle with legal. So why don't we get so... Well, whatever. I heard Bridget Nielsen's going to be taking over. <laughs> <laughs> Look out. <laughs> What uh, what 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 is that in? What publication is that in? I don't know. We can't find it. Is it a guy. blog? Yeah. Can we call the guy and just see where his facts are from? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, give him a jingle, as we like to say. No, give but we can't jingle. find what this guy's Bring talking about. So he's probably just starting some shit. Yeah, because I was reading on. Uh... Look, if they don't want us in Philly, Kid Chris would be a great replacement. 
No problem. I don't think he would be. Why? Who gives a shit? I don't think he would be at all. Kid Chris uh, hates mornings. I'm not going to sit here and worry about this crap anymore. <laughs> Me neither. Bad one. Oh, here it is. Okay. Uh... Go down. It's right here. Yeah, I know, but go down so I can read it. 94 WISP's Kid Chris yesterday told listeners they expect this show to go back to the format, all talk format. Former. Former all talk format after the station reestablished itself with its new rock format, as mm -hmm. it's been doing since last week. Last week, Chris was the station's only host who was not fired, blah, blah, blah. There's also a rumor out there that Chris may move to the morning slot when Opie and Anthony's contract with YSP is up next spring. We asked Chris about the rumor, and he indicated there's no merit to it, but said that if he and Psychic Thomas move to the morning slot, there will be a bloodbath. His war, of course, would be directed at Preston and Steve. Well, of it course. could get interesting. There you go. So I guess it is happening. Literal bloodbath, like shooting and killing. Everything Dan Gross has said so far uh, has come true. So, cause oh really? He's got some uh, deep inside source of YSP. So maybe they're floating that out there to get some interest. Ah, whatever. Do whatever you, the fuck you want. Yep. What do you want from us? All right. You guys got to uh, maybe give up all this big fancy syndication stuff. Just get yourself a nice Topeka. That's you know it. I mean? Right? Just kick back and up to work. Nice anything. small town radio. Yeah, you can do a nice everybody. remote from the Otis Ford. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're worried. Nightmare. Uh, a couple uh, going off in a few directions here. So Miss Powell talk tomorrow. Uh, we want to give you ladies more than five hundred dollars, but uh, as as you've heard, it's 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 too complicated to up the prize money. Can't do something as illegal as that, which is so stupid. Well, and, and we were also talking about Greg Giraldo, how he's topical with his humor. Hilarious. <laughs> Until that fucking uh, ass leaky bitch called in. Yeah, she fucked yeah. up the whole flow, right? Yeah. Something so that was good. Like, her ass is watering? Yeah, watering. You ever ass. eat something so good that your ass waters? No. Not have you all. ever heard that expression in no, your life? But I'm not intrigued now that I have. It's God. awful. Can you imagine how hot she would have to be for you to even be able to pull off even a fucking semi? Oh, I know, right? Something like that. She yeah. says something mm, like that. This is good. This is going to make my ass leak. Holy <laughs> shit. All you'd be thinking of is your crack smell like hot dog water. <laughs> She'd have to be so hot that you'd yeah. all be willing to lick that yeah. liquid coming out of her ass. <laughs> what is bonding a contest, by the way? I don't know. I've been doing radio since I was 18. I, I've never heard bonding of a contest. It's all eagle. about so you can't fix it. And I get that they have to do that because people would be dishonest and shitty and give money to people who would give them a kickback. We, you know, fine, but don't be such fucking faggots. Like we can't. That's, that's my whole legal explanation. We're just trying to take care of yeah. our, our hot <laughs> listeners tomorrow. <laughs> don't be such faggots. <laughs> yeah, Your Honor. If it please the court. Yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the jury, please. my client's behaving like a faggot. Don't plead faggot, please. <laughs> Re res ipsa loquitor, ipsum uh, de factorum. Hey, oh, that's right. Geraldo was uh, going to be yeah. a lawyer. I fucking a lawyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to law school. I remember reading about uh, hot chicks being only allowed to be get, get paid 500 bucks. <laughs> when did, yeah, sure. Now, when did you realize you didn't want to be a lawyer? Uh, the minute I took the fucking law school test, you know, in 1990, I graduated in 1990, and I knew right away that this wasn't going to happen, but then I was, like, locked in. What was I going to do? Right. That's a lot of time to put in. And that then... was a lot of time. And then, you know, I ended up quitting. The, the most, I, I quit, and I started doing stand-up, and I was living in this shitty welfare hotel on 32nd Street that my friend was renovating. I was living there for, like, eight months. And then I got a deal to do a sitcom based on me being a lawyer. So, like, I took that deal money and paid back all those. It was like this whole full circle bullshit, you know, where, like, the, the only reason to go to law school in the first place is to get the paper so you can become a lawyer. You don't right, learn right. how to be a lawyer. So, and then, and then you know, I, I uh, also started handling a lot of murder cases. <laughs> I'm losing. <laughs> Where'd you go to law school? Uh, Harvard. Do you know who I actually represent? Wait, once? wait, wait, wait. You can't just casually say that. <laughs> I knew the answer, but I, I wasn't 100% sure. Harvard Law School? Harvard Law School? Yeah, yeah. Geraldo's a smart fuck. But he wouldn't, he, you certainly can't tell now, but at the time. Harvard was, Law? Yeah. yeah, it was weird. And you know, you know the only legal case? I, I took all that Harvard learning, and you know what I used to <laughs> <laughs> was fucking Jeff Ross, the comedian, got yeah. busted because he was doing some college gig way out in Long Island, and it was with Red Johnny and the Round Guy, and some kid in the audience was waving this like pl plastic fake gun around, and I and I guess it was a very realistic looking fake gun, so Jeff Ross like grabbed it from him, and they started fucking around with the gun, and they, they end up getting tackled by security, 
and take it in. And, you know, it was supposed to be a clear, cut, and dry menace. Like, whatever, it was just going to be just going. And I'd never done anything in a courtroom ever, but I knew a guy who was a DA in Long Island. I told Jeff, I go, I'll go out with you. What, what, what's the worst that could happen? Oh, no. We go out there, they have a picture of the gun, and the thing looks like a gun, so they put it into, like, the fucking weapons charge category. And so I'm like, I, they it's getting a little the, too I, heavy. Yeah, for... They call me to the front, I'm like, I, don't, I, I have no idea. I thought we were just going to say <laughs> guilty. And I go, well, you can't plead guilty, sir. That's a two year charge. <laughs> Oh, oh Jesus! You could have put him in jail, yeah. like right there, <laughs> Jeff Ross. <laughs> if knowing Jeff, like I know now, I would have just fucking put him away for sure. Oh. But at the time, I, <laughs> wait, because he was waving around now. Yeah, the gun because, charge. Yeah, box. because on the oh, picture, you know, wow. they, when they show the, you know, they were like the person that yeah. I knew was like a fucking two year DA, and they were allowed to dismiss these things. They're like, just come down; it'll be no big deal. You don't even need a lawyer. But I said, well, I'll take him down, just in case. So, so we went down there, and then the judge just called us over, and, and that person was not authorized to let it go, so it got bumped up to like the gun charge division or whatever and, oh. yeah, so, so we had to like plead I had to plead you know I have no idea what, what I'm doing here <laughs> plead I have no idea <laughs> plead, plead retarded plead, I had to plead I had to plead I said your honor I was just telling dick jokes on a, on a milk crate last night I have really not the guy to be settling this legal issue and uh, so we had to go back out and then Jeff even wanted to plead guilty just to get it over with because it's a little probably oh, that's a great idea but uh, so we ended up I think I'm going to get a real lawyer and come back like a, a month later and obviously well, he was not- jo- it wasn't even his fake gun, right? Wasn't even his fake gun. No, it was, but but for whatever. He, oh, and his co-defendant had a record. That was the other problem. Oh, right. Like, the other kid that he was fucking around with, the kid that had you know had gone to jail for something. But they know Jeff was a comedian, and they knew the context of what. Yeah, happened. they knew. They knew it, but. I mean, he did. You know, he ended up uh, not doing any kind of hard time, but just uh, you know, they couldn't for whatever reason. When you have a gun that looks like a gun and it's in the file, that you know, the kid two years out of law, two months out of law school can't just clear it. You know, they got to go through some superior or something. How oh, that is yeah, amazing. I handle that, and <laughs> wow. uh, and I handled the Vince Champ rape case. I don't know if you remember. <laughs> <laughs> What is that? It's some other comic. Oh, it's just Did you? What oh, is that about? Serial Jimmy? rapist. Huh? A serial rapist. Yeah, he was a comedian. Kidding. This guy was a comic, and he was traveling around. And he was like raping. You know, you're like, oh, this guy's out there raping all the college kids. Like, well, that's what we all do, you know. And they're like, no, no, I mean physically <laughs> raping them. He's actually raping. Them. He was he a was, comic, and after his show, he was actually a rapist. Vince from Chan. town to town. Yeah, he was traveling around from town to town. He's still in jail. I think he got like 25 years. He got a long time. Um, and, and you guys knew him pretty well? I never met Vince Champ. Not, but it was funny. When, he, when it was all happened, they kept showing this evening at the improv clip. <laughs> 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 yeah, then well, it, them peanuts. <laughs> hey, wait, how, you, how am I, I going to stay full with them peanuts? Wait, I want to slow this down a little bit. So a guy who's making people laugh from town to town after the show is, is a predator. Yeah. Raping women. Boy, yeah. And he got Somebody, caught. Hopefully one of our guys is getting something on Vince Champ. Because, I mean, I don't know. A comic's pretty good uh, that's cover fuck. for a rapist. Oh. So, yeah, you're all cover. over the you place. You travel around, you have reason to be in yeah. the place. You're probably coming close to raping people anyway. <laughs> so it's, I think what he would say is, could you pray for me at the end of it? He would ask him to pray for him. This is what I heard. And it somehow got connected on the internet. Like somebody quoted that. And so I think I was raped by this same guy because he asked me to pray for And wow. I don't remember exactly how the description right. of the car, but then they connected him through that. And his college schedules would kill him because they knew exactly where yeah, he was. Yeah, where he was. And what a Holy coincidence. Sh- yeah. When someone's got to call Roger Paul for your <laughs> some national booker to go through your book. Wait a minute. I think we got a rapist. <laughs> he did a lot of colleges, though. I mean, he obviously... Yeah, well... That's what bummed me out the most. And like, you did his case yeah. for real? No, 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 no. I'm kidding. Okay, that would have been a hell of a... Know, <laughs> a hell of a step a up. serial murder. <laughs> I don't know. If you're helping comics here and there. Who knows? No, yeah. Was he black, someone's asking? Hopefully. Yeah, he was. <laughs> he was a black guy? I believe so, yeah. I don't know why they're asking, but uh, he racist. came in. Yeah, he did. I mean, he's still in jail. Like 20, 25 years. It was like multiple counsel. Oh, he was country. a bad boy. Wow. Yeah, he was naughty. I yeah. mean, um, he was naughty for sure. He really was a fresh one. <laughs> face was fresh. That, he was a ne'er-do-well if ever there was one. <laughs> <laughs> how, uh... What happened? I don't know how... When did that happen, Greg? That's like eight years ago, right? About, yeah, at least eight years It'll ago. probably be out soon, I mean. Ugh. Yeah. Can't find anything on him. He sounds surprised that he was doing colleges. How about in? in That's like, why wouldn't you? You're a serial rapist. Hey, I'm going to do the old age homes, you know. <laughs> hey, someone saying Ronnie uh, knew the rapist. Oh, sure he did. Sure he did. Oh yeah. Can we get Ronnie on the phone? Hey, Ronnie. We haven't had him on the air in a while. Wait. Good to see if he's up yet. Vince Champ rape. Quote. Vince not, Champ not, rape. Not comic. Vince Champ in quotes. I'll slap your face. Vince Champ in quotes, and then rape. Hmm. All right. Let's try that out. Young fucking stupid hawk doesn't know how to Google. There's nothing on him. Oh, you just had it, I thought. Wow. 
Why do these oh, show up? Don't scream at me. Just Just make like you're Googling mayonnaise. <laughs> but just put in <laughs> Vince Champ. Uh, Vince Champ, the comic slash serial rapist. Yeah. Comic slash serial <laughs> rapist. <laughs> just, you gotta have that. a hook. You gotta uh, have a hook. Yeah. <laughs> Inside the rapist studio. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's crazy. All right, we're mm. trying to find more info, obviously. That's a good story. And he wasn't even like it wasn't even just like a sexual predator, like a just a scumbag that was like you know date rape. I mean, it's bad enough. I mean, uh, he was like a cl like hide in the bushes, jump like, out into uh, just random yeah, people, kind of hiding under hide. cars. Yeah, and there, was, stuff. there was one case. I think he went into a, like a music rehearsal room and hid behind a piano for like oh an hour. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah it, was just, it was the real Oof. deal. And he was a comic on top yeah. of that. But he was hilarious, though. Uh, <laughs> you know, you know, really know. good. Let's say hi to uh, Jeff in Illinois. Jeff. Hey, Greg Geraldo. How you doing this morning? Good. How you doing? All right, man. I just wanted to give you props. Uh, I watched that uh, Comedy Central uh, Flavor Flavor roast the other night. I'd always oh. heard it on. Uh, I'd always heard it on the radio, but when I saw it, and I saw the look that Carrot Top was giving you when you started busting his chops. Yeah, it looked like he wanted to come across the stage and choke the shit out of you. Yeah, he he was shocking. He was like shockingly upset. Did you see? Oh, like, yeah, well, yeah. You tell you was upset. You know, like man, it's bad enough when any normal civilian gets like blown away at the tone of a rose, but when a comedian is sitting there, like you didn't think this shit was gonna come up? Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, you why do you make me else? feel bad about doing my own job? And it is like <laughs> it's like carrot top is it's your carrot top. It's like why wouldn't you get goofed on it? Of course, you have to. Uh, I even told because he's a very nice guy. I even told him before. I said, you know, some of these these things are gonna get. I said, I got a lot of stuff on you. You know, you're gonna hear a lot yeah, about yeah, yourself. Yeah. I'm sure. Oh. Wait, how'd, you know he it. how'd you know he objected? Because well, he looked like literally. You can tell it, on the show. Because if it wasn't for the surgery that had sealed his tear ducts shut, <laughs> he would have he started crying. Like he literally, like he got very upset. <laughs> well, let's uh, say hi to John Jersey. He's saying the same thing. John, go yeah. ahead. Uh, dude, I watched it last night. Uh, I've got it on my iPhone even. But uh, I, uh, yeah, he when he when he starts his set, man, it was like. He was all pissed off, like you could tell. He was derailed by it until he went to his prop trunk. Yeah. Well, you know, the other thing he kept saying, because he was like sort of right next to me, and at one point, he's like, what are, what are these guys, you know, making fun of me? They're all these fat, bald guys. Why am I, why are they making fun of me for being in shape and looking good? I thought, are you a oh, child? Wow. Are you a professional <laughs> comedian? Are you a child? Exactly. <laughs> You're right. You're more muscular than some of us. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but he has all sorts of other things going on. Oh. Doesn't he have, like, permanent mascara on yeah, and stuff he's like got that? Yeah, all kinds of... Your name is Carrot Tip. You, you're fucking... Quality. It's a miracle he got away as easy as he did, I thought. Yeah. Uh, hey, go ahead, John. Uh, I, yeah, I was going to say, Greg... Uh, I know you can throw me down, but you're starting to look like a fat, uh, stuttering John Melendez a little bit on that special. <laughs> <laughs> that's rough. That was, that was, yeah, that's, I'm punching out before that, you that, take right. out. <laughs> yeah, well, that does, that does hurt on a number of levels, but He's holy a, shit. I agree with you. <laughs> look at that picture of Carrot Top that uh, Iraq just popped up. I, I think he finally had it with people making fun of him. That guy's what, ridiculous. That's what's uh, that, that, going on with this guy. Look at him. He's... Fucking right. Yeah, he's totally jacked well, up. He wasn't like that when he first started out in the no, business. No, that's right? also roids and shit. That that's not just normal weight. <laughs> that's I mean, it. He's done bad. He's done it has roids, to be roids. He you can't that, get like that. He has that V. Yeah, goes down to the cock. Yeah, the old cock <laughs> muscle. <laughs> he, uh, carrot top. Uh, Dennis from the Bunny Ranch said Carrot Top goes he fucks a lot of broads in the ranch. He's a pig, man. Yeah, that's, yeah? that's what they say. I love that. We're going to have him on soon, I think. Yeah, I hope to so. Talk to you know, the Hopefully he'll thing, talk about that stuff. The, the thing is, when you're Carrot Top and, and you're upset, you know, like you storm out of a gig and you're pissed off and that's it. But I saw him the next morning in the hotel waiting for his car and he's all angry. He's desperate to get out of town, but he's got three fucking giant steamer trucks. <laughs> <laughs> Full of his props. <laughs> you can't just bolt out. You're like, oh, man, I got, yeah, I got to load in and out here. Yeah. Uh, here's what you had to say about Carrot Top. John, you are a big, ghoulish woman. I'm talking to you, Carrot Top. <laughs> Jesus. What happened to your face? You look retarded. How did you do that? How did you find a plastic surgeon who could add a chromosome? That is really <laughs> That's tough. great. I think what hurt him was... He wasn't happy. <laughs> it wasn't the lines. It was the immediate laugh of recognition yeah. from a thousand people. Like, yeah, you yeah. do! Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, they they always do seem surprised sometimes at the crowd because I think I think they just lose their mind, especially like because he does Vegas all the time, so he's in the same venue night after night, just being a giant star. And the fact that anyone would turn on him even a little, he did look like he was going to cry. Yeah, yeah. If that would have bombed, he'd have been all yeah, happy. Right, fine. Like, yeah, like, look, I he look threw, great. He threw it out, and uh, no one bit because they all think I, I look great. I think but they're like, all laughing. Anybody that starts lifting weights a lot, like it, something happens in your head where you really forget that that doesn't necessarily nobody gives a shit that it doesn't like, <laughs> it, it, you know in his mind it's like but I'm jacked up like exactly yeah he's gone way past the point yeah, of just nobody gives yeah, a shit I want to be healthy yeah, you might <laughs> want to lose a little double chin you that's know? That's to the point of, uh, yeah, you, you have some kind of inner turmoil yes, that is coming out habit. in your muscles. <laughs> well, you're trying to get a shredded taint muscle. Yeah, lifting a little weights just to kind of feel good about yourself is one thing, but you're right. When he's you're a, working very, on he's the, a really cool guy. That thing's when you're very working pleasant. on that obscure like uh, side muscle, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah then you, there's issues there. You know what it is? When you make fun of him, you upset the apple cart. Yes, you oh, don't want to hey, upset hey, the hey, apple hey. cart. Easy uh, on the language, All right, Jim. listen, we got a break. Greg Giraldo, Gotham Comedy Club, tonight through Sunday. You sticking around? Yeah, if you're me, sure, yeah, man. Yeah, sure. Sure. Uh, all right. <laughs> I'll stick around, get coffee, whatever you guys need. Someone get Greg coffee. Can Let me to dust up. Your... No, I mean, I'll get it for you is what I meant. Oh, no, don't be. No, for you, Jim, just for you. Geraldo, we don't I... have to tell you. He's he's really, really funny. Greg is I, a really I, funny I love his stand-up. Uh, 212-367-9000 for the Gotham yeah. Comedy Club, okay? It's Opie and Anthony. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. Hey, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jesus. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. What? I didn't see that one coming. Opie and Anthony. All right, we got an Oscar De La Hoya update. Has Greg Giraldo seen the pictures yet of Oscar De La Hoya? Sexy pictures? No, I haven't seen them. I'm, I'm, I'm the, reading about them. Yeah, the Daily News uh, gossip column here in New York uh, suggesting that these are real photos. Uh -huh. Oscar's saying they're not real photos, and now he wants to sue. Of course. You be the judge. It's uh, they what? look real. X17online.com. Look at these, uh, Greg. If you just This is... Uh, Allegedly, Oscar <laughs> De La Hoya. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and um, those are great. How amazing is that? He's uh, he's in uh, a girly outfit, and in some pictures, he's wearing a, a wig. Yeah, making him uh, a cute brunette. <laughs> yeah, I can only see it from the side angle, but it was uh, disturbingly hot a little bit from the side. And then the other one, he takes the wig off, but he's still in the girly outfit with high heel shoes on, and he's got his uh, boxing gloves on. <laughs> My favorite, the one on the tub, where he's uh, got his l one leg up on the t on the tub, and his ball bag yeah, we is say Turkish taffying out the side. Yeah, we couldn't say this on the first half of the show, but that's what we were getting at. His ball bag, it, look, <laughs> is doing a little peekaboo here. Look, uh, here's a zoom in. Look at this. It's like a bat wing. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> his shaved ball bag is falling out the side of his uh, wow. pink panties. Funny, you see fucking uh, J. Edgar Hoover and David Ferry running around in the background. <laughs> Who's he fighting next? <laughs> um, I don't know. I think he's retired. Isn't he retired? Like Desiree Brown. Or <laughs> well, for Wait, hold on. It's Greg had a great setup, and I had nothing funny to say, so I just gave a, a real answer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. No, but it was a tricky one. To a funny He's thing. retired. I with a fact. Well, no, Greg. All kidding aside. <laughs> no, it was a challenge, though, Jim, to come up with a good one. But I, yeah, any woman. I, any woman a lot. I don't, Minnie Pearl. I could have said that. But when I said it, well, you know, Greg, I think you retired. You're you know, retired. There was, won't be any fighting. Out, he was quite a fighter. Yeah, back to you. Well, I really yeah. known for his left cross. <laughs> well, TMZ is reporting this. Uh, De La Hoya fix is is in on Kinky Picks. Uh, photogenic boxing champ Oscar De La Hoya says that a slew of photos making the internet rounds uh, purporting to show him in panties, fishnets, and heels are fake. And he's hired legal heavyweight Burt Fields to give the snaps the old roundhouse. Oh, boy. Get it? Still, Ooh. report uh, Russia Malloy, the exotic dancer who says she took the pictures, insists they're real, and that they were taken at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel in Philly in May. And the quote is, now that she's being called a liar, she's ready to sell her story, says Gotham Mag columnist R. Curry Hay. What a fucking cunt. What Fields <laughs> swings back saying is, as, 
<laughs> Many have that the photos are a really bad Photoshop job and demanded in a letter posted at uh, usmagazine.com that they be taken off the net a little late. How could it be a really bad Photoshop job? It looks job like a really good if, Photoshop job. If nobody job. can tell the difference. That's a good Photoshop yeah. job. I, yeah. I, hold on. I, mean, I got a text from my uh, ex-girlfriend oh. Yeah. Oh. about something totally unrelated. Right. Mm -hmm. About a guy she used to date before she uh -huh. knew me. And I was talking about something, but some, mm. I was talking about a guy who cross-dresses. And, and this is what she sent me back. I fucked him in the ass with a strap-on. Where are the pictures? Wow. wow. I, 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 don't, I didn't ask for the guy's name. No, no. But uh, I don't know man, that's something. Very yeah, rich it's boss. Funny. It's the same She's the date rich boss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, we got the great Ronnie B on the line here. Hey, Ronnie. Hey, what's happening, guys? Hey, Ron. Mr. Mr. Buddy. Bennington. What do you say, boys? Well, we uh, started talking about Vince uh, Champ, and someone said you might know this guy. I know him very well. Uh, I knew him, of course, years ago. And uh, it was a very, very weird story uh, because he was a guy that, like, everybody liked. He was the last guy anybody thought would have been involved in something like this. Yeah, if you weren't listening earlier, Vince, uh, a stand-up comic, uh, touring a lot of colleges, and after the after his set, pretty much uh, was uh, a predator and possible. Well, I guess he went to jail for it, so he was uh, caught raping women. Yeah, yeah, he did go to jail for, for it. And here, here was the thing: he, if we were making a movie about Vince, Black Girl would be playing the part of Vince <laughs> Champ. You know what I mean? The, oh, really? Well, yeah, Vince was incompetent. Comfortably moved in and out of white society. <laughs> uh, and uh, believe it, everybody liked him. He was everybody's best friend. Nobody could say enough good things about him. Um, I, I would he, say everyone liked him there, Ronnie. Yeah. Well, there probably I mean, a couple of girls in some of his towns even, that he visited. He was so likable that even these girls to this day can barely bring themselves to say something bad. I'm sure his percentage is way up there, but yeah. I would say everybody. When he was one happened, of the sweetest rapists. Uh, and all, and all honesty, it's true because when this happened, everybody went. Everybody who knew him immediately said, "This is some kind of Midwestern. Let's grab the first black guy we can find." Nobody yeah. that knew him fell for this. A, he had the, the nicest demeanor. B, he left with a different white girl every night. So, so he, he was getting it, laid. It's, not, it, it's like when those people are saying rape isn't about sex, it must be true, because he had sex all the time. He always had women. Hey, Ron, how did he finally mm. acquire... I mean, I, I read something about it was uh, he had some weird ritualistic thing he would say after each rape, and, and someone connected it on the net? Well, 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 what happened was this, and it was actually like pre-before the net got bigger, just right about the time, so it was like... Uh, it, it, it was like that era where, like, you wouldn't put together things as quickly or couldn't get information as quickly. But after he raped them, he had them pray with him. He was wearing, like, a ski mask. They had to pray. But the, the way that they basically found him is so many of these rapes were taking place in these, like, little colleges in, you know, towns in, like, Nebraska or someplace out there where they didn't have black people. And the cops finally got his calendar, <laughs> his his fucking <laughs> calendar that he had was showed every night, everywhere that he was on on his tour. Yeah, that's good evidence. Perfectly. But Ron, what made them suspect him? Do you know? They were going, how could there be a black guy in this town? <laughs> what, you know, <laughs> these are like little, you know, Midwestern Bible colleges. You know, these are, these weren't taking place at like the University of Kansas. These would be like little towns you've yeah. never even heard of before. And they're going, "How could a black guy be here? Did he drive in? Did he?" And then they start putting together. Well, you know, remember that was comedy night. Comedy night we had that night, and it's fucking just. I mean, it was the worst. Stupidest thing that you know, crime that you could have done when you're the black guy. How many? How many women uh, did he rape? You know, I don't remember the whole thing, but it literally was a string. I mean, I remember it made all the news stories and and shit like that. So it was a big enough thing that it got out there as uh, you know, making the news. Man. So it was, you know, when you get called serial, you've been doing it for a little while. Yeah, true. 
But I, I don't know. Oh, I guess they tied it back to, you know, he had some strict upbringing, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. What the that whole pray that with is. me thing is so, like, oh, weird. Yeah. You rape a, a woman and then you hit pray with me. That's some yeah, bullshit. Like, like this yeah, happened to both of us. You yeah, know, like, yeah. Instead of going and cleaning up and trying to put this out of your mind, now get on your yeah. knees next to me. Yeah, I'll pr pray. Uh, you're, I, yeah, you're not going to be going to the hospital uh, for a rape kit. Yeah, because now I need comfort, not you. Yeah. But Jesus. I swear to God, you you would have said later, like if you didn't know the truth, you would have went on the fucking stand for the guy and said this could never have happened. That's amazing. Was he a funny guy? Nah, he was fucking terrible. But you know, he was black <laughs> and he was nice to people. You know, like hey, how's everyone doing? I know, I'm the only that. black guy. You know, he would really lean on that. I'm the only black guy, so the fucking, you know, normal <laughs> people would just giggle and go on and, you know, feel like, oh, this is relaxing. <laughs> 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 you know, he would do, like, self-depreciating black guy jokes, and you know how people love that. Oh, yeah. And yeah, later he would rape them. <laughs> 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 now, now who's laughing? Now what's the fucking joke? Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, uh, fucking funny. Yeah, they're great. <laughs> so, Ronnie, you knew him for a long time? Or like, you could run, I would draw the draw in the studio. Yeah, I knew him. He Ronnie on the comedy club. Yeah, I knew him for uh, a lot of years. And, uh, you know, uh, never a problem, real professional guy. Used to help the other comics get into different clubs around the country, everybody, but nothing but good things about the guy. You, you, How long you did he get? have no idea who people are. How long did he get, yeah. you know? Uh, I know it was like, you know, decades. So I don't know if they kept him all that long. Cause this had to be over about 10 years now. So he's probably still in jail. Yeah, he should be. I mean, wow. I can't imagine ever <laughs> feeling fucking safe around the guy again. Because, like, how are you going to rehabilitate him when nobody saw it happening? You know, it's not like he was running through town fucking frothing at the mouth. Right. Wow. Yeah, I wonder funny. if he's working on his act. I know. Because <laughs> that would be a good hook. Nowadays, that really would work. Yeah. <laughs> Redeemed rapist having yeah. 20 minutes. Rapist. With all the time he has, he should come out as the greatest <laughs> comic ever. <laughs> the greatest comic rapist in the history of yeah. guy. Uh, this was honestly like, he was trying to be like the black Brian Regan. Like, if you know how you would never believe wow. he did anything wrong. You know? Well, Regan's got his dark side. <laughs> we all know that. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Boy. I'd love to talk about some nights out with Regan. <laughs> oh, Regan could go nuts. I've seen him once have two Amstel lights. <laughs> Is that it? I remember walking out of a bar, and it was daylight out. And we had just been drinking all night long. And he was hysterical. But it was nothing he would ever do on stage. <laughs> I love the guy. Hey, uh, Ron, you interviewed Regan for Unmasked, didn't you? Yeah, just recently, and here was the weird thing. Like, we invited the audience in from brianregan.com. And yeah. you know how, like, Brian could come into any of your events and everybody loves them and all? His fans, his real fans, you guys would be shocked of what they look like. It's such a uh, after They're church all black. social thing. <laughs> it's the scariest thing you've ever seen. They're the whitest, calmest people in history. <laughs> really? Yeah. They, oh, it how are they threw me. How are they taking the uh, the interview and stuff? Were they getting offended? They thought everything was wonderful. Thank you oh, so good. much. They, I'm not even kidding you. They brought their children. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wow. How Everybody great would it be to hear... They brought their kids in a covered dish here. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, we got James. Oh, so I, I, it would be great, though, if he's being interviewed with Ryan, and he's like, you know, the problem is the Jew. <laughs> <laughs> the Jews. They run this business, Ronnie. Hey, uh, we got Jay Moore on the line, too. We got Ronnie, and now we got Jay Moore. What's up, Jay? I just wanted Ron Bennington to know that I'm calling Opie. <laughs> yeah. I get you guys back together. No, yeah, Ron's you know, been trying. Everything up. We're like old girlfriends. We went. We did a couple skate the other night. <laughs> did we ever have a problem? I know. What was there to patch no, up? Just, every time I talk to Mr. fans, he's like, "You got to talk to OBJ. You have to mend this fence. <laughs> you got to mend yeah, the fence." That's what Ronnie does. I I love Jay. 
What? I'm never on I wrote, with, I wrote, with Jay Moore. I wrote you. What comic are you talking about? It's making me nuts. Vince Champ? Yes. Oh, what a douchebag black comic name that is. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It could only be worse if it was Vince Champ the Third. <laughs> <laughs> Probably was. <laughs> oh, they are awful. Have you ever noticed how goofy white people are? They're so silly. <laughs> <laughs> when when, you, walk when you rape them, yeah. <laughs> you, know, you ever notice right how a white woman like... cries when her face is being kicked in? <laughs> oh yeah, they're hilarious. The only white people that talk the way black comics make white people sound is Bryant Gumble. <laughs> Hi everybody, how are you? I'm a white guy. Really? Are you, Greg Gumble? Fucking black guy. <laughs> and, and they do the walk. Man, yeah, and if the white man's holding you back, wouldn't you give me a scarier voice than that? <laughs> yeah, like, how does a white man hold back black people by, by like, talking like this? Yeah, we kind of laugh at that. Hi, honey. That, honey, I'm that, home. That, that, that's the guy that's fucking keeping you from getting the corner office, the retarded guy that can't walk? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, you fucking ignorant black asshole. Make me sound like a pilot or something spooky. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that is a... I can't give you enough promotion. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great observation. They do have the worst imitation of a white guy. Oh. We laugh at that. We're completely accurate on our oh, absolutely. Uh, imitations of black people. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I never called the plug. May I plug something? Please. Yes, Jim, please. Jimmy, where are you going to be? <laughs> I have no gigs, but Jay. Um, we got Greg Giraldo, Giraldo in the studio. Here, and he's doing oh, hi, Greg. Weekend. Hey, Jay. How you been? I'm very well. I haven't seen you since Tough Crowd. Yeah, I haven't seen we need you to since... Get you, Greg needs to be on television. The guy's just good for the eyeballs. He's just easy on the eyes. Oh, well, Ooh, look at you. Yeah. Oh, hey. hey. Listen, all that Vince Champ talk's got me going a little bit, too. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, like, like, there's never... Greg Gerardo's never going to bother you. He's ne you're never like, ugh, this guy. It's always just like, oh, Greg's not good. Unless you're Carrot Top. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Apparently, Carrot Top doesn't to, like Greg. Yeah, he needs to talk to my wife. Carrot the orange, orange Hulk. Carrot Top is Hulk. <laughs> Are you laughing at Hulk or his wife? Uh, orange, orange Hulk. Hulk. He, looks orange. Like the, he looks like the Hulk with jaundice. <laughs> hey, uh, I have a webisode up on foxsports.com. I figured out a wax bag to go and co comment on, uh, make fun of me and my wife because me and my wife yeah. have football picks on it. So I, that's what they do. I heard that you're, they're hilarious, actually. Yeah, they're really funny. With that. I will I say this. They're pretty damn funny. Hey, how about OJ getting arrested with man boobs? Well, he, <laughs> well, he is 60, though. Well, I don't care if he's 60. He's fucking, he's like Jim Brown, too. He's not Jim Brown the third, but he's Jim Brown, too. He's going to do the perp walk with fucking man boobs. <laughs> goes, you notice hey, that... I like what OJ said. What happened in Vegas stays in Vegas. Yeah, it's all like you. You're going to be there for a long time, you fucking dope. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm, uh, I'm OJ Simpson. How are you? How are you, fella? <laughs> hey, Jimmy, make sure you promote FoxSports.com, okay? That's all I talk about anyway. I'd be happy to. I heard your all picks right. are very good. I love you. Yeah. And are you doing this? Huh? Are you doing this week's picks? Hold on, I just went in the tunnel. Say it again. Are you doing this week's picks? Uh, yeah, I, I, we did, it's already up and running right now. You can right, let's, it up right now. That's what my wife do. and I are playing. Whoever wins the pick, uh, my wife is going to bring her actual Catholic school outfit out, out of uh, storage, like the one she actually wore in high school. If I wow. win, she has to wear it. But it's not like from a costume shop. It's like the actual one she wore when she was 16. And then, uh, but if she wins, I have to wear it. But what she did, the joke's on her, because I'll come. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> come. See you guys later. All right, Thank you, Jay. Jay, Jay. Jay. Bye, boys. Bye, Ronnie. See you, man. Ronnie's still I here, I think. I a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. figured you did, Ronnie. You just, you really, it's hard to have two people on the phone with Jay on the phone. He was a bit focused today. We like when Jay's focused. I, I just, it's very rare. When he calls our show, I just fucking walk away for a while and let him scream stuff. Very, very rare. What can we uh, expect on the Ron and Fez show today? Well, Fez hasn't slept in two days. So we're oh, Jesus Christ. See how the stents uh, hold up. Wait, what, what, what happened? 
Well, we'll see how his health is after not sleeping for two days. I put Why isn't he sleeping contest. now? Two I put days. A little, uh, little contest to see if I could help everybody focus on the show. I wasn't <laughs> happy with their focus level, so I had him stay up for a couple nights. Oh, great. <laughs> that helps. <laughs> it's really going to do well in that little fucking cracker box you're in for I, a I show. Told- yeah, it's really just killing time till the merger. I really think that. None of yeah, that's what we're all doing. Yeah, we are all just killing time until this merger happens or doesn't happen or whatever. Uh-huh. Uh, what happened the other day? We lost power or something. Somebody cut through a power line over there. Never have any worries about it. I don't care one way or the other whether I'm on the air, <laughs> not on the air, it doesn't matter. Just, you just uh, go and do a show. Talk the same yeah. way as I'm talking to you guys now. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You're yeah, a professional. That's... You're a consummate professional. Well, He's gonna get it's a... stealing money. It's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna get interesting the next three months, I think. Yeah. Well, well see. I'm we'll... I'm gonna pay very little attention to it and just uh, ignore <laughs> the whole thing. God, I'm with you, man. I, you can't be bothered anymore and worry about this crap. I just call Mills. Bob up and go, "How much do they owe me? If they don't want to do anything <laughs> else, they want me to leave. How much do they owe me right now?" <laughs> God damn, that's the way to look at it. Because uh, uh, if this mer- if this merger goes through, uh, you know Mel Carmazan's going to be the head muckety muck. Then you're going to have to deal with with that. My thing is to have zero ambition. That's exactly where I want my just to not care about any of it. Zero ambition. Zero I ambition. Like it's the same as the love for my kids. I expect nothing, and if anything comes up. <laughs> Just seems really interesting. Then you know, enjoy. It. <laughs> All right, there, Ronnie. All right, we'll let you go and uh, listen uh, to a Ron and Fez after us at noon. We'll You're be on on two o two. I check I'm it out glad, every day, there, Ron. Yeah, I'm glad I could tell the story of old Vince Champ, the popular <laughs> little rapist from the '90s. <laughs> and the funny part I was saying before is they kept showing his evening at the improv set like if you're on trial the last thing you want is just that shitty set being <laughs> representing you on television <laughs> hi everybody hi everybody alright take care boys alright All right. see you later, uh, later Ronnie there's no way Ronnie to keep your, no way to keep your street cred when fucking uh, when, when fucking Bud Friedman and that stupid monocle is in oh. you oh the monocle <laughs> yeah all Your right. set is so bad that even even after being a serial rapist, you're still considered sort of soft and unintimidating. <laughs> <laughs> He's an unthreatening. <laughs> soft, unthreatening. <laughs> He's like Sinbad with rape. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a quick break. When we get back, uh, we challenge Renee, remember, to find something funny? She she brought something funny to the oh, show today. Oh, good. What she bring that we thought was just... Go- oh, she thought the uh, Scott and Todd song parody was funny. Yeah, yesterday, right? Yeah, so we said, it was "Look, really bad." Your homework homework assignment uh, assignment is to bring something in that you think is funny, mm-hmm. and I hold that in my hand. We'll play it for everybody next. Mm-hmm. And uh, Than went over the sitcom back to you. Oh you no, that, it's sitcom season. Cousin I think Greg Giraldo is going to enjoy this unless you have to leave. No, nah, anything to do with a sitcom, I'll always love. Yeah, this, this is uh, this is Than's gig. He loves doing this. We make Than watch sitcoms. Cool. And then he uh, he he points out some interesting. He things takes about the out the hilarious parts for us. <laughs> yeah, the parts that just uh, are the the, the money makers. Yeah, the yeah. knee slappers. Sure. The part that the audience just guffaws. And we prepare the audience by saying, "Folks, pull over and put on those laughing hats." <laughs> right. We really enjoy this segment with Than. So strap yourself. We're bringing yeah. it back in. Uh, we're bringing it back to the show because, yeah, the, the new shows have uh, begun this fall here. It's Opie and Anthony. All I want is to get laid and eat sandwiches. That's it. That's the closest reference he can get to something cool, cool. hip, and groovy. Groovy. Cool. Wow. Hip, and groovy. <laughs> Dick. Yeah. Where do you go when you want to change the locks? The Opie and Anthony show. I want to be on you. Well, you've come to the right place. I help you. You help me. We all laugh. Don't worry. We're not listening because this is a boring conversation. <laughs> Love you too, sweetness. If you walk past them, they'll like, take your jewelry, you take your purse, or whatever, you know? You have no idea what they are. There are a lot of questions about them. Real. Dirty looking. Freaking naughty. Shut up. Bring on the booze. Is this the Obi and Anthony show? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ah, 
Where's Renee? Jack. Renee. Jack M is today's complainer. And yet, What's another 20 minutes of radio followed by a break, only to leave promptly at 11. I, re- I reiterate, fuck you guys. Shut the fuck up. You're lucky we go to oh, 11. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank I, you. I swear to God, you're lucky we go to 11 because we don't even have bosses at XM right now. We can leave at 10 and no one's going to tell us, you know, uh, guys, we've noticed that you've been leaving at 10. You know, the contract stays. you got to be there at least till 11. Yeah. I swear to God, we'll, we'll do it tomorrow. I'll prove my point. We'll leave nice and early tomorrow. And guess what? We're not going to get one phone call about it. Exactly. So fuck off. Uh, Renee, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Greg Giraldo? You know him? Hi, yeah. Renee. She Hi. Doesn't, she doesn't Hi. know much. That's why I said no. I don't know much. I don't know anything. Did we, ever, we never made out or anything, did we? No. No. No, we're good. Okay, cool. Yeah. Would you we make out forced, with him? We have a force to pray with someone after a comedy show? <laughs> 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 yeah. You look prayerful. You look like you need to meet Jesus. Oh, no. I'm not going down that road. No. <laughs> Do you find him attracted? Jesus? <laughs> Yes. Jesus. Jesus is hot. Would you give Jesus. Jesus a hand job if he was willing? Mm. I think I would. It's not gay if it's the Lord. <laughs> no. As long as I'm not going to hell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. help. Why would you go to hell? He'd, I think he'd appreciate that. I don't know. I, I think All right, I'd... so we told you to bring in something funny. Yes. So what did you bring us? I found this video a while ago, but I kind of ignored it. So I saw it this morning and acted quick, and uh, it was a kid in Walmart just picking up the uh, phone over the PSA, and, uh, PA, sorry, and uh, <laughs> uh, just seeing Baby Got Back. I thought that was funny. Spoiler alert. I like turtles. <laughs> Spoiler alert. I like turtles. All right, well, let's uh, take a listen. This is okay. what Renee finds funny, Anthony. Okay. I like big books, and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't stand that. When a girl walks in and then anybody wasting around thing in your face, you get sprung. Wanna pull up front, cause you know the stop butt was stuck. Excuse me. Oh no? Oh, I thought it was to play with. No, it's not. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Let's go around the room. <laughs> Alright. Well, Jimmy <laughs> threw his mic away. I thought He's got his head in his hands. Oh, oh man. Jimmy? Comment. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, man. I- All right. Well, I'm trying to think of a situation <laughs> oh, God. in which I could even laugh with that playing somewhere in the country. What? Why is it funny? Because it's just, I thought it was funny. A kid going into Walmart, he has nothing better to do with his life. It's pretty sad, actually. And singing Baby Got Back. In, wait, wait, wait. Why store? would he have nothing better to do with his life? Maybe he just happened to be in the store and he, he was looking for something and then said, well, while I'm here, maybe I'll have a little fun with the PA because I see it's right over there. He yeah. could do that. But I'm thinking to myself, what gives you this idea that you have to go into Walmart and... To, to make a video and, and put it up on... some ruckus. <laughs> on YouTube. There you go. Yeah. That's why he did it. So Boy, you're on the hot seat, huh? Oh, this is... Burning right now. No, I don't know. Renee raised a good point. She's like, I thought it was funny, and I'm like, why? And then she just kind of reiterated what the video was. Well, because <laughs> I know, I know Walmart, he sang, baby got back. Why not? It's it's it just it's just funny. I thought it was funny. I laughed, and there you go. I did my homework. And <laughs> there you go. Did I get an A? Oh, uh, is that it? I wouldn't read instant oh, feedback anytime video. soon. Uh, uh, Reading from Wackpack. Holy right. shit! Of all the videos online, she found that one funny. Oh, well, there's a part oh, two. Oh, wait, we're watching it now. Okay. All right, see, now, can, I couldn't see it before. The guy's... Okay. Oh, there he goes. And he's got curly hair. So it's, now it's just like, it's a really fat guy with curly hair <laughs> who doesn't make me laugh on any level. Well, there's no. more, Jimmy. There's oh, more. I- there's more. He tries it again on another phone. Oh, all right, I didn't know that. Attention, shoppers. You're in for a special treat. <laughs> I like big fucks and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't get that. <laughs> when a girl walks in and then anybody wakes in the room, bring me up, they keep it. Bro, want to pull up, bro. Runs that butt with the duck. Deep in the fridge you wear. I'm hooked in the pits up there. And ooh, baby, I want to get with ya and take your picture. <laughs> Some girl was trying to warn me, but that's so funny. <laughs> this friend with the camera finds it funny. I thought it was funny. You folks fell on your face. You get an <laughs> F minus in my book. That's the kind of thing that pilots on JetBlue do. Now, you know? <laughs> yeah, they always do. trying to be so funny all the time on JetBlue. <laughs> yeah, just shut the mic off. 
Yeah. <laughs> and fly the fucking plane. I hate to say this. That's but funny. I wouldn't say, I mean, she's fucking painting it like it's a Peter Sellers film. <laughs> but I didn't, once watching it and then he did it again, it's just this fat, obnoxious idiot. It's It doesn't suck. Like, it is kind of amusing. It's not hilarious. The video is funnier just, than just hearing the uh, audio. Yeah, because just watching a guy make that noise is shit. But, I mean, when you're just watching a, a real fat kid in the store just being a dick, uh -huh. I kind of appreciate that. Yeah, but and, there's 8,000 of those up on any video site. Like Probably where sure, yeah. it's kind of funny, but but you need to watch the video. A uh, Java wheel from mm. Boston. She better be hot because this video sucks. Yeah, I guess right. that, that's why well, you get a pass. You know that if you're ugly, man. Well, if you I was ugly, ago. would I be out of here the first day? Not the no, first day. You see the other one we have in here. <laughs> <laughs> you get, you get, you get that one five year old Iraqi kid with tits. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow, Jimmy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. So I, I guess I have more work to do. Uh, uh, we don't even know what you do. You just look good around the hallway. So you oh, just, come on. I you just continue. What do you do? do. I, I, and don't don't say the bagel and, and oh, club soda. That's, <laughs> that's, that's nothing. nothing. No, I, I'm doing production. Sam helped me out with the video today. Oh, did you, Sam? Yes, I he did. did. Um, I'm, again, looking for stuff, looking for video, audio, anything possible for the show. Mm -hmm. uh, articles. So the whole time you've been here, have we ever used anything that you've come up with? Yes. The, oh God, what was the first one? The, uh, Mr. Eight, the, guess the sound. It was the guy with the fetish. Oh yeah, that was pretty good actually. Well, that was good. Okay. Yeah, that Kinda was good. Kind of do look we'll give like you alfalfa. That oh, come on. No. <laughs> a little bit. The freckles? A little bit. Nothing sticks up? No. Oh, wow, that's a good... She's very pretty, but it's it's like it's it, you st you're hot as alfalfa. There's something very weird about that. Yeah, you'd be oh. like a, a, a <laughs> oh, cute alfalfa Schweitzer. Uh, <laughs> it's better it's than freckled. being a cute spanky. Oh, <laughs> God. Uh, well, Jay from Florida <laughs> writes. Other things Renee finds funny include AIDS, starving children, and comedy shows on the CW. So <laughs> you're in good company there. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> There's a picture of alfalfa. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Russ from Alabama. That's a stupid picture. That's Russ, terrible. Good Russ from Alabama. Hot Renee has a stinky stink knuckle. And then he writes, you see, I linger longer. <laughs> and that's a stupid picture, though, of me up there. I don't know who took that. Oh, yeah, Craig. Oh, really? You don't know who took it. It's obvious you're posing for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like it was the paparazzi. Wait, and, like, and they got a, 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 a lens on, I a camera, forgot, and a book. I forgot who took it for two seconds. He just started shooting at whatever he could and I knew they would put up a stupid picture. I knew they would do that. It doesn't, I'll say, it, it doesn't show you as, as nicely as it, it could have shown you. I, I think that you look a lot better than that photograph Thank would you. indicate you look. Well, Phil from Long Island writes, uh, lung cancer is funnier. And uh, Bill K from Philly, uh, Renee should be traded to the Canadian Comedy Channel for a <laughs> bag of sand. Oh, thanks. Appreciate that one. Why? I did she likes clips of guys in the Walmart, and it didn't suck. I mean, after mm -hmm. watching a little bit, I was like, oh, it's all right. All right. It's like, it's, it's the, no disrespect, but it's like, I probably wouldn't laugh at that if I watched right. it. That's not my sensibility, but I can see a girl finding that kind of... Making a, a sort of geo-social political statement, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Walmart, it's accessibility to the masses. It's, it's my homework. I found something funny. I Well, you didn't say what you guys thought was funny. You said what I thought was funny, right? Ah, oh, well, she turned what? around on us. Yeah, there. no, we you're want right, to. Right. We want to know what you find funny, and that's what you brought to us. I thought that was like a stupid funny. All right, well, Dave mm -hmm. in Philly writes. Uh, she found that clip so funny, her ass is leaking. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You got uh, an, a leaky ass because of that? Uh, no. Still trying to figure out that. Yeah, I didn't get that. All right. all right. Should we have her bring in something else? Absolutely. Something else? This is right. your new bit, so you got all a right. bit now. Sounds good. Yeah. We need another one tomorrow, but save that one for. Uh, for tomorrow as well. Yeah. We got to replay that forever. I'd like to have All a right. copy that to bring home in case I get sad. I throw it in. <laughs> It'll good. pick you up. I thought You'd be it was laughing and I laughing. did my job. Yes, you did. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Okay. So it's like a C, a B. Oh, you want a, a, want a, a letter grade? I, grade. I just uh, want a grade. I, I'd, give, I'd give a B to the C. <laughs> so, <a> B, <laughs> a, 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 <laughs> I, uh... I have to give it a, um, honestly, a D. Okay. I, I have to give it a D. Okay. You got to start somewhere. It's like a C. C, I agree. C? Uh, Why would you give it a C? It's, 
Because if it was only that one thing, I would have thought it sucked. But after watching it the second time where he, he's like, he goes to another PA and his stupid friend is left. Like, I would, eh, it wasn't that bad. It's like, just it's just a kid being a douchebag in a store. I'd never seen it before, so. Mm. Okay, it's funny. Big fat kid just singing. Yeah, Blue Heeler from Kentucky. Uh, that wouldn't even be funny with a smoker's laugh on it. I'll give it a C. <laughs> say, Greg? Uh, a plus. Oh, thanks. Oh, wow. Yeah. I really I think he has do a brings the average up. The democratization of the PA system. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that was funny. <laughs> what would you give the fetish one? Uh, the... Uh, that was good. Oh, yeah. That's definitely that an killed A. Us. A. <laughs> All right. I got to find more. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not going to stick with the fetishes. I'm oh. going to go a different way, but okay. I'll find something. Great. Uh, yeah. She's like, you're working. Not going to oh. stick with the fetishes. What do you mean? Well, I wasn't going to. You know, she doesn't want to be a one trick pony. They stick with the same thing. Okay. Gotta go oh. take a different route. That's. I'm just watching a little Maury. He's on TV, and he, he's got extreme teen videos. And uh, some guy just got cracked across the back with a big by piece the, of wood. By the way, bleeding. the girls on Pal Talk don't like you. They don't like me? Pal Talk, uh, French bread pizza writing, F for the hair, A cups for the chest. <laughs> What? Who cares? I, I, hey, I'm just reading them, man. Yeah, I mean, oh. The girls aren't liking you is what it comes down I to. I think that they're probably... A little, a little jealous? A little threatened by Renee. Yeah. Maybe. And there's nothing wrong with eight cups. No, they're fantastic. I got nothing. I don't care. No, it's, you don't want... Believe me, you don't want... Don't get fake tissed. Keep no. the eight cups. I <laughs> get my A's. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you wish your girl would never grow up. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Paul. <laughs> you had to rub Earl on him. <laughs> Earl. 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 Put a little Earl on Monday. A warmer Earl. They don't have to like me. I don't, I don't care. All right. I think they're a little right. jealous of you because you're uh, you're very popular in the studio and everybody likes you. Because I'm sitting here and they're there? That's yes. probably it. And every intern wants you. Oh, that's and probably not probably half true. the staff. Well, the interns are all. Not true. The interns are all after her. Are they single, really? Oh my god! No, they're not. All the guy interns no, in the not. intern it's party the room. Pat Duffy. Oh, Pat Duffy. No. I I Pat, love how Pat you Duffy. walk past that room and she's Good just day. like, and then and everyone's like, really? Tell they're us they're all more. Like they fucking, for, it's like the most interesting thing they've ever heard in their like lives. Heshy and dead fellas. Yeah, they're yeah, yeah. killing every time you walk. Yeah, yeah. Their acting is horrific, and she's just babbling away, and they're all just like. Really focus on what she has to say. Who the hell is this? I don't know. How about this kid in fucking Jake LaMotta's slippers? Fucking. <laughs> 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 so, uh, who are you, sir? I'm the new guy, I'm Patrick. New guy, Patrick. Do you like uh, Renee? Howdy. Huh? Not in that way, no. Why? What She's taller than me. I'm kind of exactly. short. Is that, that, that a problem? It really narrows it down on women you can fuck. It then. does. Jesus, you're a little fella. That's never a problem. No. I don't mind. Like, you can't have a giant woman, but if a woman's, like, tall... That's pretty cool. How tall are you, Renee? 5'8". Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's good. That's getting up to the... Give him a uh, hug and they're like the same size. <laughs> how tall are you? got to squat down and Me? pick him up like, like five, a baby. Six, five, seven. <laughs> Aw. Little five, six. That's a cute little... little. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> don't stretch the cut right height. here. You could just say five, six. It's okay. Oh, you don't, don't, don't bump five, it up. Six. People are asking where they can find the picture of Renee. It's on 92.3... What's the website again? So 92.3 K-Rock. Yeah, 92.3 K-Rock.com. 92.3 K-Rock.com. Look uh, how go she's... to the uh, Opie and Anthony page and the Opie and Anthony updates, which are great. Look at how she's squeezing her clit by tightly crossing her legs, is what uh, <laughs> some, somebody's saying on Pal Talk. Was, they don't was, like you. They, was, every little they thing you're doing. Bite me. There you go. You know what? Bite you her. You don't like me? I don't really don't give a shit. Yeah. I don't care. Bite me. Fucking Renee. I'm I am holy. sitting here working my ass off, and you are there. Yep. Getting Ooh. mad at me. I don't care. Wow. I am Those are my fighting way words. Up, and that's the way it is. Let's say hi to Ken and PA. Ken, what's up? Hey, I, I was at, want to ask Renee if the round, world is round or flat. <laughs> <laughs> world, round or flat? It's round. <laughs> All right. She uh, answered right away, too. We made it belong on the view, but we're good. All right, very good. All right, Renee. Let's tell him that uh, time and space is all a myth anyway. And can... <laughs> oh God! <you're> right. <laughs> uh, so what do you, what do you uh, what do you do? Me? Yeah. I watch them work. Yeah. Run for bagels. Have you uh, gotten your uh, hands into uh, anything as far as um, radio related stuff yet? Not really. No, you haven't brought anything yet. to the table yet. No. How long have you been here? This is my fourth day, I believe. Fourth day. Wow. Yeah, and you want a career in radio? We'll see. This is the first time I try it. You guys yeah. have the most committed staff, huh? Uh, oh, Lord. Craig, let me explain. A weekend, these <laughs> these interns realize what a waste of fucking time this is. 
They're fetching like coffee and bagels and fruit. Like, and that's supposed thought, to teach them about radio. Yeah, I thought I was going to learn about radio. Uh, not nope. not learn what uh, Opie and Anthony like to eat in the morning. <laughs> I want to know what your ultimate goal is. Besides being a centerfold in Cavs Monthly. What, <laughs> what is... <laughs> <laughs> Cavs Monthly. Thank you for reminding me. My subscription's almost stuff. Right. My kid's got Cavs. <laughs> Jesus. Cavs Monthly. What are you doing in your spare time? Just carry safes? <laughs> <laughs> God damn, <it>, Jimmy! <laughs> oh wow! So, do you want to be uh, on the radio? Is that like your I'm goal? Just starting. I guess production's all I'm looking for right now. Yeah, you don't have a goal though. You aren't like, you know. Uh, here's what I want to do. I want to be on the air. I want to do a show, or I want to produce, or I sort of shotgun this whole thing. Really. I got the internship. To, on to the same thing to your head. <laughs> <laughs> you got the intern what on a dare? On a Monday, and then I decided to do it. And by Friday, I was moved in New York. I was doing construction <laughs> up until like two weeks ago. Hey, I like Wait, a guy like this. You moved to New York for an internship? Yeah. Oh wow, are you disappointed? What were you doing? Uh, do you what? You, well, you go to school, obviously, right? Yeah, I had to sign up for a college after I got the internship. So you got an internship, and then you had to go to school, so you started going to school after the so internship. I had a degree, so I had to re-enlist to so, community college in Manhattan. And what classes are you taking? Like, oh, Total joke classes. Is it anything to do with broadcasting? I took an intro to broadcasting, but I actually dumped it because it was so terrible. <laughs> I couldn't stand the teacher. He was late for class, and he was lying. He was just making up. <laughs> making All right. E-Rock. <laughs> E-Rock's teaching the class. <laughs> He's late and a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Who screens these guys? Oh, this is great. So I, thought, I, thought, these like, guys. Radio, I thought everybody wanted I thought these were like coveted jobs. You know, people were dying to get radio jobs. There's something else going on with this guy that he decided to move to New York for an internship even though he's out of college. Right. Yeah. Who are you obsessed with on this show? Oh, no, no one. It's just I did construction with my parents' company for three and a half years. Oh, well, you for just 10 had years. it with that, right? And he's retired. And wow. it's either continue the business or just get out of it. And I wanted nothing to do with it. So I just... What uh, what type of construction, my friend? Metal stud framing, drywall. Ah, ah bzz, 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 yeah, all, bzz, day. all day long does fucking th drills. I wish I did that. I was doing insulation eight hours a day. Ah, oh, that's oh, good too. That, that shit nice. makes you itch. Yeah. Hey, hey, can I jump in fast? Uh, Ricky Murphy from Massachusetts, maybe line of the day. Uh, the world might be round, Renee, but you're flat. <laughs> oh, oh wow, burn. Yeah, <laughs> that ain't even you know. There's something uh, going on. Uh, the listeners not enjoying her name. I don't They're don't really care. jealous. She doesn't care. Uh, Patrick, care. here's from Whack Bag Entry. Patrick's covering his heart on, <laughs> is what uh, oh. they're saying. They're just looking at the pictures on Pal Talk, the video, and and picking you guys apart. You That's remember, oh, you're always on camera in this studio. <laughs> covering his heart on. It was a very defensive uh, it was. stance I you had there. For that. Covering your heart on. Did you ever masturbate thinking of her name? <laughs> no. Tell but. me the truth. But, it's only the second but. time I get introduced to her. So oh, really? Maybe tonight after everyone's yelling at her. Spank Hell bubble. no. Really? Definitely not. You don't want him like doing that? You can't thinking stop of you? that. You probably I are in. Probably can't. But I'm just like. What do you mean you probably can't? Guys he have wants to think about spank, me tonight and yep. spank it. You can't stop. Guys that. have spank rolodexes, and let me <laughs> assure you, you are in the other interns like rolodex. So they go through and they like picture maybe. Oh, you're in the you're in the hallway, and then you go into the green room and shut up because they got to be detailed. And then like you lay down on the couch, and then it just progresses from there to this. <laughs> Did point story. where yeah he's Porn just working story, yeah. next yeah, thing yeah. You're, you're rolled up in insulation being dragged into the basement <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to fit in two calves <laughs> calves that's what, that's monthly what he uh, not even having sex with you that he's just brushing his calves over your face <laughs> <laughs> you're holding them like the giant turkey legs and worshiping them God, they're like bowling pins <laughs> 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 Still gonna look for calves monthly on the newsstand. Oh, yeah, wow. yes. He's always on his tippy toes. <laughs> he wears knickers even in the winter to show them off. <laughs> always uh, reaching for something high up on a shelf. Always. Yes. Let me get it. <laughs> of those calves. <laughs> All right, Renee. Thank you. And You're yes, welcome. Patrick. Uh, is it Patrick? Yes. Uh, might might Baltimore actually Baltimore. remember that now. Sam, yeah. Have you ever scrapped to Renee? No. Pat Duffy. Have you ever scrapped to Renee? That stuff is scrapped to everybody in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone. Right, scrapping right now. Oh. Have you ever scrapped to Renee vomiting or shitting on you? <laughs> 
Uh, here comes Pat Duffy. Pat. The star of the virus tour with a video. Hello. Yeah. What's up? Did you ever uh, scrap uh, to Renee? No. All I have to say about Renee is oh. that her and I had our run-ins together <laughs> before this internship started, and it wasn't worth going back to. Wow. What does uh, that mean? She's red. I am probably... Re am I red? Why run-ins? Renee and I attended the Connecticut School of Broadcasting together. Ah. In the same class. The so. great Connecticut School oh, of yeah. Broadcasting. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. So, so what, what, what run-ins? Negative or positive? Uh, positive. positive. Yeah. So you guys maybe went out on a couple of dates. We maybe. were seeing each other. Yeah. You were seeing each oh, other. Okay. How far did you guys get? Not uh, very far. You were seeing Come Patrick on. Duffy. Patrick, how far? It was. Uh, I'm sorry, Pack ahead. No, by all means. It was before all of this. Yeah. And obviously. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hold, hold on. Go ahead. Did you, uh, you guys made out? Yeah. Did you enjoy kissing her? Yeah. Did you enjoy kissing Pat? My sure. only complaint about Renee hmm. is that she wears way too much chapstick. So by the time you're done making out with her, you it's, have lip protection as exactly, well. Exactly, yes. I it's like that. bullshit. And it didn't bother you, Renee? But he'd have to come by and pick you up in his Amish buggy? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that no, he, never, he never picked me up. Ever. She came to me. Well, <laughs> oh God! Yeah. Don't try to sound cocky. I, <laughs> she came to me. I didn't have a vehicle. No. Oh. no. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. Not to. Can I? Can I ask you? No. Can I put Pat here so I can see Pat? Sure. Talking to him. Not to. Not to douche you, man. I just can't see. That. Basically, that means you didn't have much to offer the no, show. No, no, he was uh, good. But Jimmy didn't want to say that. Pat gets uh, another Pat <laughs> takes over. <laughs> right. I want Pat and Renee to get so I could talk to me. It's easier. So I didn't know that uh, you guys uh, dated. So you kissed a little bit. A little bit. Did you ever? <laughs> Brush your hands say over over his uh, his uh, his his genitals through his trousers. No, it didn't go far like to the point of, Renee's of a good any girl. real sexuality. Yeah. No, no, not really. No, Pat, dry humping. Um, Renee, I, I you have brushed your hand over my shorts. Did no, I? He, he I don't even shit. know. Remember exactly. that night? Do you remember? Yeah, you remember that night you came over to my house and we were together in my bed. Yes. There was a lot of touching that yes. went on that day. Whoa! Yes. So, what, what, <laughs> and that know. was the night, by the way, that you did drive yeah. to me. And I might as oh, well say nice. it now: I had hooked up with my ex-girlfriend that same night. Just so you know. Oh, okay. Whatever. <laughs> what a fucking trooper! Yeah. Wait, wait, right. wait, wait! Why Slow this down. Hold why on. Are you, why are you Hold doing on. This the same night she was in your bed, you you ended up with your ex-girlfriend later on, or no? See, my ex-girlfriend was the one that I've told you guys about. Was at at my house, and then she went home because she had to get up early, and I was still feeling rather randy, if you want to use those dumb words. So I called Renee up, and she came over from her house, and then we, I finished my deed, and that was it. Wait a minute. So, so you fucked your ex? Yes. You dumped? Yes. And then Renee comes over? And then Renee comes over, and we just kind of had like this little hookup. It, was but it, was, it, didn't, it wasn't anything serious. Did your dick come out? No. But I just, I really, it was really for my own personal, because I wanted to hook up with two girls in one night, so I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, I wonder if I could do this, so I, I did. Had you gone down on your ex-girlfriend? Uh, n no, I don't think so. Uh -huh. I usually, I generally didn't do that too much to her. Disgusting, huh? Well, no. I just, yeah. she, she actually was that too hole where a cock should be. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, was, it, was missing, it was missing something, yeah. Now that I think about it, I'm not even mad. You shouldn't be. Uh, wow. Do you still have something for Pat? No. Good. No. Right Why? now, I can't be bothered. How did it break? How did the whole thing end? Oh, can I share that? Please. Yeah. Okay. Well, I found out. I kind of wanted to. He kind of grew on me after a while, and I was like, all right, I, I kind of like him, so I wanted to take it to the next level, and all of a sudden, I Next found, level means you wanted to, to have sex him. with him. No. Just get things. Yeah, get to know him a little more, just, yeah, go out. Yeah. Maybe a little, a little more exclusivity. Right, exactly. Licking licking of the balloon knot. <laughs> oh. No. Just trying to figure out what the next level no, is. There. No, no, pretty much when Anthony Go to a malt. Yeah. Yeah, and dude. get a malt. Did you want to give Duffy a two knuckler? <laughs> Absolutely not. No. No. But anyway, <laughs> I found out through MySpace that he got got back together with his ex girlfriend. And that pretty much ended it. And then. that pretty much ended it. And I, See, if you were I a fan of our show, you would have found out too, but you didn't listen to our show before. Mm -hmm. That's right. He was discussing that on our so show. So what do you do now? Like, are you, are you seeing anyone? I'm not seeing anybody. I don't plan on seeing anybody. Um, oh, he really look. turned you off to no, uh, no, guys. No, no, not at all. Not That's, at all. Hey, he, Pat, he's a good kid. Does your current girlfriend know this is, like, someone you used to be with? Uh, no. Oh, she does now. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and let's bring her in. We bring her in now. It's old dog shit kisser. <laughs> <laughs> You're a hit on the video on the virus tour, I gotta tell you. Major hit. When uh, you uh, kiss Pat Duffy after he brushed his teeth with dog shit, oh. the crowd goes wild. Yeah. Yes, they did. Yeah. She doesn't, uh, she doesn't seem thrilled to be here. Why? I was working. I'm working. Oh, uh, well, 
That's you know Pat, of course. <laughs> uh, of course. That's Renee. Yeah. They used to hook yeah. up. Okay. They used to like be kind of, uh, but uh, nothing really happened. It wasn't like you don't got to worry about you know if she had uh, chlamydia. Yeah, that you got to get it. Although I don't think she could have chlamydia. Yeah, basically, tell you the truth. Basically, she's a prude. So you, you have nothing well, to worry about. Not, I wouldn't call her a prude. She's no. just selective. She she's a size queen and an anal queen. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you know that one evening, uh, Pat Duffy? Um, months uh, ago. Months ago. Months. And Wait, this has nothing to do with her because no. I don't want her freaking out. It's, no, no. It's another no. ex. Had sex with an ex-girlfriend. Okay. And then invited her over right after that. I did not know. Isn't that kind of a? <laughs> I just found out too. That kind of that's kind of a, a, a tells you about his character a little. A little bit, a lot of yeah. It. yeah. That's cool. And you're fine. Yeah. It's as long as I'm not. Involved, it wasn't you, right? Cool. Yeah. That's, Whatever happened happened. That's, that's what okay. they. That's what they said about the Jews. <laughs> Mm. And then they came for this, uh, and then they came for, the, and when they uh, came for me, no one was left to uh, right. You know what? Something like that. I don't pay attention to much of it. I like the other side's speeches. The real pomp and circumstance was a lot more fun to watch. <laughs> the other side's speeches are a lot more passionate. Yeah, yeah a lot more passionate. Yeah. They're a lot more memorable. I think she's cuter. Uh, who? Thank you. Really. <laughs> I no. appreciate that, Ovi. I, I agree. I, I, I find Renee a little more attractive. <laughs> that, oh, really? Yeah. Jimmy, it's up to you. I'll be very honest. They're very different types. Fa facially, it, it's very hard to pick. Look at her smile. Through. See, she's got a great smile. No, no, here's how you do it. Uh, uh, do this. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's making the universal mouth of the blowjob. Oh, I thought I thought he wanted them to sing opera. Oh, oh. <laughs> Job, uh, it's, it's hard to pick. They're both very, very. Uh, attractive. That's why I said that, Renee. It's, you know, it's very hard to tell, especially if you go by taint. But she's got bigger tell. boobs, though. Pat's girlfriend. I don't need bigger boobs. I like. What are you boobs. talking about? The bigger boobs? Who cares? Oh, do with that. I mean, don't go to HR, please. <laughs> all right, like cool. puffing stuff. <laughs> what the hell can he do? <laughs> Big stuffed fucker. Probably not even flame retardant. He'd go up in a second. Pat's girlfriend shows a little less in the sense that, not, not that you dress uh, uh, like a whore, but you, you, you wear like a little bit of a looser clothes. So I can't see Pat's girl as well. I'd certainly love to as you walk by. Just look at you. The bathroom? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> but I mean, it's hard to judge. What the? They're both, I think they're both no, Pat attractive. Duffy's uh, girlfriend, she's, she's a trooper. He's the real deal. You guys get along very well. You yeah. look like uh, you're wearing more of a little house on the prairie kind of top. Yeah. I like this shirt. You should like be hanging with Laura Ingalls. Nice. Yeah. Oh, Laura <laughs> Ingalls. <laughs> Can you get me a bolt of gingham next time you uh, swing by? <laughs> a, <laughs> a bolt a bag of rock, gingham. A bag of rock salt and a bolt of gingham. There's a lot of confusion out there. Dave in Manhattan. Go to uh, the mercantile. <laughs> uh, Pat Duffy ate dog shit but didn't eat his ex-girlfriend's pussy. <laughs> That's right. Wait a minute. How, how awful must that slit have been? <laughs> we didn't well, even didn't, bring that up. She didn't really like that to be done. And I, I, I mean, Maybe you were really fucking bad at it. I don't think so. Yeah. No? No. Is well, he bad at it? I don't like that, to be honest with you. Okay. Wow, you just hook up with girls that don't like it. You're Who's awful at it. You're Here's, awful at it. Here's what he does. He fucking, instead of like facing her, he goes on the side and eats the pussy like from left to right. <laughs> like corn like cob. Corn, corn on the cob. cob. <laughs> <laughs> and he puts tape over the clip because it just bothers him to look at it. <laughs> it might be the beard getting in the way. Like yeah, there's scratching something. scratching the hell out of the There's area. something going on. What are you doing? I, I you're just, fucking eating pussy wrong. No, how do you I haven't done it in a long time. Yeah, how do you eat pussy? I haven't done it in a long time. Time. In front of someone you used to date and in front of your current girlfriend. Like, no woman. What's your no technique? Woman. No woman. Yeah. Well, I, I just haven't done it in a long time. I don't know. What's your technique? What's your you technique? I like yeah. to, um... Oh, God. For real. <laughs> Why do I... Hey, we got a prop or anything? A <laughs> prop? Oh, here, here's... Jimmy's a, uh, asshole. <laughs> I was just going to fucking say that. <laughs> of course like, That's you are. another dick joke by Norton. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's just another dick joke by me. Oh. And it was a Jimmy asshole joke anyway. <laughs> Oh come on! Uh, toilet the toilet paper, paper tube. <laughs> All right. That's a big fucking. That's a. That's, <laughs> that's if you want to practice. Boy. That's ass. <laughs> Make believe it's no oh, nose's face. <laughs> All right, he just collapsed the roll, so it looks more like. Oh okay, uh, now it's a okay. slit. All, All right. right. Okay. I like to um. What's uh? Hold, hold on. Let me get a little of this too. <laughs> yeah, that's got a brand. I got my little camera. camera that I'm. I'm just gonna start throwing stuff up on the web. I don't care. <laughs> All right. Take the lens cap. Let's get a little. Uh, yeah. Oh, thank you. That might help. I'm a professional. All right. I uh, I like to use two fingers down here in the bottom, and then oh, at the God. same time I like to lick the clit while doing it. 
So, so you're, oh you're just a fucking God. busybody on a pussy. I guess yeah. so, yeah. You know, though. <laughs> you're trying to get everything done. And then occasionally I'll use my lower two fingers to tickle the anus. Oh, you go with the shocker. Yeah, really? I like to do that a little bit, do you too. All, you know what you are? You're the fucking one-man band of pussy. <laughs> <laughs> he's, got fucking, he's got symbols between his legs while he's eating a box. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Monica <laughs> mounted over here. Uh, there's <laughs> too much going on there. Why? Um, wait, wait. You do the two fingers and then the tongue on the clit. And then the tongue on the clit. And then like, like this. And then... <laughs> That's awful. It you looks like you're playing a harmonica. Sounds like you got 14 fingers. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. You're eating pussy like someone told you to when you were 15. Like, dude, you got to put two in a right. fucking pussy, <laughs> two in her ass. Ah, 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 there we right, go. We got a blow up, Dom. Now we ah. have a perfect oh, example. All right. That'll work. Like this. You go sideways. All right, he's got That's the two fingers, fingers in the, bl the blow-up doll. And then you lick the clip like that. Two in the pink, one in the stink, as they say. Yeah, and then at the same time, you're just kind of like, oh, good. Wait, oh, God. Wait, wait. Move? Well, I don't know. I mean, like... Yes, you do it Do it slow. You're not... To, you're, I'm too embarrassed with myself. If you do it that fast, she's really going to fucking be pissed. Like this. It's like... Like that, you just flick. Oh. I don't know. You tell me you're better than I am. Probably. I don't know. You're so weird. We were saying you suck at it, <laughs> and you said no, and now we have an example here. We have a... A nice blow-up girl. She Look, she that. thinks you suck. I know, <laughs> yeah. She really does. Now uh, move that arm and go to it. All right. All right. Here we go. <laughs> right, here All we the go. The two fingers are in there. And then you go like that. Yeah. And then like that. I don't know how to explain. That's, that's not a bad. Oh that's not a bad technique. technique but but I I think that. Uh, but you just well, don't like doing it. Why don't you like doing I, it? Not that I don't like doing it. The you, girl, the, the past three girls that I've well not three, but the girls I've been with, they don't like it done. You're the, you're the problem. Why don't you? The past done? three girls don't like it done. Done once. I just. Wait, wait, we're, we're talking to his girlfriend. Why don't you like it done? I had it done once and it was horrible. I laughed. Oh, Pat, you laughed. Laugh. You could turn her around. No, do it again. I, I'd rather... Oh, okay. you laughed. Why? Because it tickled? Uh, no, because it was horrible. It All was right. horrible. Well, let Pat fucking, you know, give it a shot. All right. Give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She's psyched. Sure, why not? Nobody She's doesn't psyched. like their vagina eating. Some women can't come from that, but right. nobody doesn't want their pussy eating if you eat pussy right. No one. There's what about no you, Renee? Go, get out of I agree with that Unless logic. Unless she was abused and let's, fucking well, creeps her out. Let's well, go I to agree with that logic. Let's go to Renee. Renee? I'm not, I'm not going there. Comment. I'm not going there. Well, that's not a bad yeah. Did he do that to you? No. No. Uh, no. She you wants like it that known. I think, that, do you like that being done? I'm not a fan. Have you ever had it done? Good yeah. question. <laughs> yeah, Good but question. Why not a fan? I, cause like she had bad experience. Oh, bad experience. Yeah, they weren't that good. How yeah. bad could the experience be? Yeah, that old yeah it's like saying, "Oh God, I got the worst blowjob ever." It's yeah. like that old pizza joke. How, yeah. Like how bad could it really be? Yeah. What was bad about it? I would rather not go there. Mm. The guy, uh, wait, 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 guy that braces and Parkinson's. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't that. I was just. It was an uncle. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, I have images in my head. God. Was it a boyfriend? It was someone that I thought I liked, and he turned out to be a complete asshole, and this whole thing, it was just, and I don't like having it done. That sounds much. like me. Mm. That was very vague. I know. I'm not going to I'm not going to Leaving it vague. It would save a lot of effort, though. Well, douche nozzle, you know, he, he's correct. He, he writes, uh, the secret to eating pussy is to channel your inner lesbian. Did, did he? Uh, you, you don't. You, you know what the secret is? Is not doing it like Pat Duffy, where you feel like you got to do something. You're fucking. You, you're working a flute. <laughs> you're doing things. Too many things. All right. Isn't well. And you got to use your whole goddamn head. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. What do you do? I, I I lick the bottom of the pussy, and with my nose, I go. <laughs> <laughs> Onto the clitter. You gotta use everything. <laughs> your ears, and you gotta be able to hold your breath for a long oh, time. God. So wait, now hold on. I have to ask for that. I don't want to talk about. It, that's fine. But did what, was it? Did he use teeth? Because I've heard girls say that Oof. guys have actually not bitten Jesus. hard, but have scraped the pussy. To leave a me. bite like an apple. Well, that's what happened to me. Oh, see, use okay. teeth. Mm -hmm. Teeth. So a guy was eating you, and, and he used his teeth. I yeah, eat pussy right. like a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> he probably went to suck on it, right? Like, like and just like yeah. suck the pussy and oh. caught in their teeth and mm. fucking old clumsy teeth. Didn't know what he was doing. Exactly. Thinks it's a gummy bear. No. Jesus. <laughs> <Fucking> <laughs> <laughs> oh, nasty yeah. pussy biter. <laughs> All right, so you don't like it because some guy didn't know what he was doing. And Bit it. What did the guy do wrong? You know, without too much details. Did he do I that? just didn't like it at all. Didn't it like was, it? Yeah. You might have a hang-up about that. Did he say that you smelled? Like, 
Like, no, I don't I think, geez, right. <laughs> fucking no, no, no. Jim, I'm jump into so some nice. conclusions no, there. No, I'm not. So, you guys yeah. think? Yes, dumpster pussy, you're online too. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but I'm saying, like, a lot of guys don't like, that's not about you, that's a lot, a lot of guys just have, are fucking squeamish about shit like that. They don't like it. Yeah. So a guy might just smell like a great vagina and go, Ugh, yeah. and fucking freaky girl. Like, girls with big pussy lips don't like their pussies because some asshole in high school made fun of them. Yeah. Pat Duffy, also, now be honest, do you dive right in there with your fingers in your face? Uh, do you like go down and go, you know, flock, boom, faces in? Oh, you mean like full throttle or do I work up to it? <laughs> well, I know now you're going to say you work up to it. Is working up to it working up to it? Or are you just pretty much getting your fingers in there and getting set like you're ready to bull ride? <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I mean, I guess you could put it like that. Yeah. I mean, I, really, I, I actually, not to sound retarded, but I actually don't really understand the scenario you're giving me. Well, I'm trying to, like, let's just say, it, it's, it's, it, it, you kind of got to work up to it. Right. It's a slow process. Right. You don't want to, you don't want to start going down on a girl with her knowing, oh, here he goes, he's pulling the old going down on me gag. Oh no, no, I don't think so. No, no, I, I don't know. Sneak up on him. Yeah, yeah you got to sneak up on that thing. <laughs> really, you, he puts his fingers in so bad. Here's what the girl probably hears. He goes, okay, are you gonna come soon? And he, and he. Ah. <laughs> and he fucking just spits on it and then slops his fingers again and fucking jams them in fucking na fingernail scraping the inside of the oh, oh, God. He's no, fucking you got I'm pretty good well with my clipped fingers. fingernails and I gave you your first orgasm yes he did. wow cool, hold on fucking Danny discreet <laughs> <laughs> maybe, she, maybe she didn't want the whole world to know that oh, that's I know. cool All right. hey Stacy's got a shocker story Stacy what's up hey what's going on out I got a pretty interesting shocker story for you guys. My gynecologist from home would give me the shocker as a normal test. Uh-huh. What? Like, What's a shocker? I've never had any other OBGYN do it, but two in the pink, one in the stink, right in every annual exam. Two in the pink, one in the stink. Wow. Was, what, was it the thumb that was one of them? No, no, no. No? In the, no? In the middle. Because that doesn't even make sense. Right so I thought maybe they were trying to feel something in there. Dr. Know, Vince Champ. Said, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Champ to surgery. <laughs> Champ. The gynecologist had to pray before she went there. <laughs> Two in the baby hole, one in the maybe <laughs> hole. <laughs> <laughs> Great Geraldo. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, sweetheart, he would do this. Would you come? No, no. And it was a 76-year-old woman to boot. Wow. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> was a fucking charm bracelet with her grandchildren's hand. Oh, Maybe that was just her box. hand was like arthritically formed that way. She wasn't really. <laughs> her charm bracelet's jingling against the speculum. <laughs> did she have a speculum in you while she did this? <laughs> that would be a fucking talent and a half. <laughs> that is. Did she explain why she did that? I, she never really said anything more than it's just a normal procedure. But because of her age, At her I house. wondered... What what old practice taught you that you should give women the shocker? Like, what in schooling said, now, when you're testing for pressure in here, here, and here, you need to make sure that you have two in the pink and one in the sink and yada, yada, yada. Because there was mm. so much dysentery back then, you never knew when anyone was just going to drop a giant load on the table, so you wanted to make sure to stuff that up. <laughs> yeah, she's that old. Yeah. I mean, she probably, yeah, yeah. you need the old cork God watch damn. it. All right, Stacey. I have to examine your asshole. <laughs> Smoke this cigarette. It's good for you. <laughs> Excellent. Right, thanks, guys. Remember gynecology class. One in the stink, two in the pink. I love that she kept going back to this doctor, though, over and over. Yeah, after the first yeah. time. Every year. She was... <laughs> uh, a lot of people doing their Larry King impressions on uh, instant feedback. Really? How important is the clit to pussy eating? Pussy eating. Pat Duffy, hmm. you ever done any pussy eating? A, a fair amount. <laughs> You're pretty bad at it. <laughs> From what Three girls have said, you stink. <laughs> All right. How important is the tongue? <laughs> Very important. Eat that pussy. There's Eat that pussy now. Gums. Do wow. An angry Vince. Do and do you go, uh, uh, do you do, do a few uh, all the way from, I'm talking from asshole up to uh, oh, the yeah. uppermost part of the uh, yes. the vag? Yes. I've done really, that. you do that. Also known as the car wash. <laughs> <laughs> the car wash. <laughs> Got a... <laughs> <laughs> Is it those things that hang at the car wash full of suds? Ah, car, and they're just wash. Going... <laughs> car wash gets everything. <laughs> the car wash. 
I just invented that. I love that. You're a swiper. <laughs> That's great. Swiper, no swiper. It'll, it'll be now known as the car wash car on this watch. radio show. <laughs> <laughs> Got all sorts of stuff happening. All right, let's say hi to Brad in Tennessee. Brad. Hey, yo, and hey, what's up? Hey. Uh, I just wanted to, to say I like to eat werewolf pussy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we done with everybody now? She's awkward. Everyone's yeah, awkward. Yeah, everyone's having right? like an awkward moment. Hold on, how did Pat give you your first orgasm? Yeah, I knew that wasn't going to be left alone. How could it be? It's fucking Exactly. Harsh. By the way, one person in this room is lying. Ooh. No doubt in my mind, someone in this room is lying. Who is it? Not even a doubt in my mind. All right, I take uh, cock. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> you got all nervous. You could have uh, kept, you kept your poker face for a little longer. We're off the air in two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, what? <laughs> oh, who do you think's lying? I have no doubt in my mind someone in this room is lying. Yeah, but, I, but how did you? Uh, how did Pat Duffy give you when your first... sexual experiences, Yeah, I like to... Um, Pleasure the man. Ah. And, uh, she likes to blow me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. See, obviously, Pat's not lying. He, he, yeah, Pat Pat's, just... Uh, she, and she's probably good at it, right? Very. Because holy she likes shit. it. Because yes. she likes wow, it. he goes, very holy shit, he says. Would you mind if we ask Pat why are you, why you're good at it? Pat, why is she good at it? She, uh, she has no gag reflex whatsoever, and it's fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Jumping g hosey fat. Wow. You guys Sorry. are. I like it so. That's and you cool. like she it. She really likes it. That's great. A whole lot. That's that's good the, for me. Yeah. That's a keeper. <laughs> Why is Jimmy covering his crotch now? Yeah, Jimmy. Jimmy's not like grabbing. He's filling up. <laughs> no, I wouldn't be disrespectful to Pat's girl. No. However, if Pat was to be fired soon. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cool. See, that's because you like something. That's that's probably why that you need a little bit of work on the vag eating because you do it like as just a way to do something else instead of loving it. Can you eat her vag tonight and then we'll have a full report tomorrow? <laughs> I, yeah, I could definitely do that. Would you yeah. mind that? We could put it on YouTube. Weekend, cool. Huh? Yeah. Well, we could put it on YouTube. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Keep your filthy mitts out of it, too. Just use your mouth. Be very soft. Use right. your mouth. All right. You could maneuver around some of the, you know, gadgetry down there with right. various fingers, you know. Right. But, you know, they, you don't go shoving fingers in there like oh, that. It's just silly. You know, it's, it's not that it's bad, It's just though, silly. Finger thing. Well, no, not, not when, when you're doing like that and you're jamming two in there and she likes just two. licking. Yeah, but you know but she, she doesn't like the way you eat pussy. The, the parts and you're getting it shoved in, you kind of like it. I know you don't have the part, so I can't even... Well, uh, that's what Opie was saying about the lying. I actually have a vagina. <laughs> must a lot confess. of people lying. No, if you're going to do the finger thing, you got to do the old, oh, you hoo Oh, the come fingers. hither. Yeah. The come hither. The that's the key. The you hoo Oh, you hoo No, he does that. There's these ridges, you see. All right, that's come the key. hither. That's yeah. the problem ridges. I've been having, too, because I go, beat it. I poke, <laughs> I poke really hard and angry. <laughs> Get lost. <laughs> Uh, well, Iraq, yes, this is very good. Right after, uh, because uh, Pat Duffy talked about his chick blowing him, we should allow Pat Duffy to promote his mom's flower shop. Well, absolutely. Yes. Oh. There's nothing goes hand in hand like blowjobs and flowers. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, my Especially mom's, with her mom. Yes. <laughs> my mom's uh, flower shop is uh, Krause's Flowers, which is in <laughs> Clinton, New Jersey. Krause's. Krause's. You can go to Krause'sFlowers.com. K-R-A-U-S-E-S Flowers.com. So Do basically have, you're uh, saying a comment that, section or message board? Uh, I think you have an email form. You email form? Yeah, you got Basically you're saying, sure. like boy, <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Basically, you're saying to the guys out there, if your girlfriend gave you a great blowjob recently, you should uh, you get your lady some flowers oh, from, from your mom's shop. Or yeah. buy flowers, and I'll give him a blowjob. You'll give Pat? Wow. wow. What? The customers. Oh. <laughs> so for I'm every order that my mom gets, <laughs> I get a blowjob? Wait, Wait, would you like uh, to see her no, with I'm another guy in oh, front I'm of you? No, kidding. I'd murder them both. Really? Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, you're at that state. <laughs> right. I was That's to, good. I was about wow. to give Pat the money for the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> just do what you will with this, son. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Awkward. Uh, uh, Renee, Pat, ever? You guys never, you never hooked up beyond... Okay. No, no. Yeah. Renee, ever uh, do uh, what she's proficient at? No. No. Okay. you never just, given him? Just head? asking. To him, no. No, no. I, I mean, ever. In just life. in general. I'm not going to go there. All right. She's the one who's lying. I think. Wow. Wait, Renee, Pat. how old is Renee? 23? Yeah. So are you, are you kind of... not? Are you a little inexperienced with sex? Like, that's, I'm not going to answer that. Yeah, see, we'll, we'll leave her alone. Oh, That's why I didn't want to say anything. Yeah. I'm not going to answer. That's all. That's all. Whenever she says she's not answering, she's not answering. Okay. I, you just bring up the questions. That's yeah, fine. ask. We like Renee. No problem Very with that. Very open on this show. Yeah. I think I know. 
What? Oh. I'm trying to think. Are you a, uh... Where's Scott Muni when you need him? Why? It's not bad. It's That's just... for someone that lingers <laughs> very long. <laughs> 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 I know what you're thinking. I'm not going to answer that either. No. <laughs> I'm not going to answer that. Knows. I'm not going either way. It's you, all you good. raised by religious people? No. Oh, okay. Oh, absolutely not. No. Roman Catholic. But not well. not strictly. Not strictly, strictly. No. We're good. We're good. Look, there's just a lot of healthy people in this uh, studio today. Uh, it's all what about good, girls? No matter what. Do you have any kind of physical attraction to girls? No. You? No, not at all. All right. Just asking. No. No. Oh, you no? We're all okay, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I like I like girls. They're they're swell. <laughs> all right, especially ones with no gag reflex. <laughs> <laughs> that could just mean you have a real small dick. <laughs> I'll go to you for that one. Oh, oh, look at Pat. He was very confident look at about Pat. that. No, my dick is giant. It's uh, huge. Co comment about my Pat's, head. Comment about Pat's dick. Nice size. Nice size. Uh, it's a nice size. Nice yeah. dick. I got a banana here. The uh, two three inches. Show us on the banana with the sharpie. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, just draw on, draw on the sharpie uh, on the sharpie on the banana with the sharpie. How where high Pat's uh, you know his dick ends. And we're talking uh, not not uh, to the sack. We're talking to the pubic bone. Well, I'm oh. not gonna. Well, eat just the banana. you know, like, yeah, okay, like that. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Wait a minute. You got it now. You keep you giving him a little more. Yeah, I think she's fucking cheating, Pat, and then she <laughs> Yeah. Take it out. Oh, take it out. <laughs> take it out and get a heart on <laughs> now. Go no. no here. No. I think it's cocky. All right. Point. Not bad. Yeah, nice cock. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, we didn't make you uncomfortable, did no, we? No, not at all. We not like at you. all. Well, yeah, there's a lot of problems now. Uh, we didn't make you uncomfortable. No. Pat, you're not going to kill anyone in the studio, right? <laughs> not today. We're all good? Yeah. Great. And, and you're okay? I'm fine. Why are we asking if everyone's okay? <laughs> because we're all so <laughs> scared. Yeah. yeah. But we're not, we're just, it's a very normal chat about. Of course it is. Uh, Goober from Whackbag is applauding the six year linger longer. That just occurred. Linger longer. All right. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everybody. Thank you. Ladies. Gentlemen, this is our cue to leave. That, yeah, that's the get that I take. Take your, clean this up. take your blow up doll with you. I like the asshole in the blow up doll. It's just a fucking. It's like a piggyback, a piggyback back. It's like a piggyback, a piggy, a piggyback. Yeah, wait, just shorten something and not make it a joke. Renee gave us great radio today. She was really. Mm. It was nice. We did. Well, we seriously, you did. We didn't know anything about her, so it's it's interesting to get to know somebody you're working with. A little bit, sure. Get yeah, to no, know, I know people. I from the I don't too. doubt my mind. I mean, mm -hmm. no, no doubt. Hey, uh, we got to do line black? of the day. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, Greg Giraldo did a fine job. It's Gotham Comedy Club uh, tonight through Sunday, two one two three six seven nine thousand. Thanks for having me, fellas. Did you have fun? I had a great. I, you know, part of the problem is I was more of an uh, observer when you're listening to these things. <laughs> yeah, you just kind of you, just kinda, you right. throw in, you lob them I in. Enjoy it, you dude. Know, you that, fired out some fun. great lines. Who are you kidding? I want to, you know, when you're talking about a girl with no gag reflex, it's hard for me to want to go. Ha! Here's my zinger. <laughs> and when you caught me with my hand in my lap, I wasn't doing anything. I was just, I kind of, my, my I think you went home. for a squeeze, didn't you? Uh, you were ready to squeeze. I fucking give about six squeezes, and then you notice, I'm like, I'm just resting. <laughs> I just know Jimmy too well, and she was talking about no gag reflex. I'm like, I didn't oh, mean boy. it to be disrespectful. It's like, you don't think. Oh, it's just natural. Right. You can't help yourself. Oh, you got it? Yeah. E-Rock. Virgin. <laughs> uh, line of the day is brought to you by BodogFantasy.net. Play against our own Travis in a weekly pick 'em league and win ah. four grand. It's free. All you have to do is open an account on BodogFantasy.net and pick the weekly winners. Here's a runner-up line of the day. So it's like a C, a B. Oh, you want a, a, want a, a letter grade? I, grade. I just uh, want a grade. I, I, I'd, give, I'd give a B to the C. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, let's see. Uh, 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 here's another runner-up line of the day. You yeah. look like uh, you're wearing more of a little house on the prairie kind of top. Yeah. I like this shirt. You should like be hanging with Laura Ingalls. Nice. Yeah. Oh, Laura <laughs> Ingalls. <laughs> Can you get me a bolt of gingham next time you uh, <laughs> swing by? <laughs> a bolt a bag of rock. gingham. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say Ingalls wrong or something? No. Laura Ingalls. Ingalls. But I didn't notice either until you just It's Ingalls. Oh, yeah. Then I'm so right. I have yeah, it right. It doesn't matter. Did I have it right? <laughs> Laura Ingalls. Yeah. What did I say? With an I. Daughter of the guy with the nice smile and rotted asshole. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's actually, his, that's actually his, his fucking confirmation name. <laughs> Here's another little, well, runner-up line of the day. 
for the top of his head. No one makes uh, so it makes it harder to get uh, your balls into the top of his head because his hands are moving back and forth over the top. Only a few people will get this, but screw it. Uh, he moves his heads over his hands over his head. Like Earl does when Earl's trying to think. Oh, when Earl's thinking. <laughs> <laughs> a Mr. Bucket? Uh, uh, not really. What was that? Where, where was the joke? Oh, the Earl thing? Yeah, but I stammered through the whole thing. Oh, it was kind of a... <laughs> Mr. Bucket! That's right! A uh, Mr. Bucket! A uh, Mr. Bucket! Push your balls in my top by Mr. Bucket! Out of my mouth and will pop by Mr. Bucket! We're all gonna run a Mr. Bucket! The game's Mr. Bucket. The first to get their balls in, and Mr. Bucket wins. But look out, because the balls will pop out of his mouth. I'm Mr. Bucket. The balls will pop out of my mouth. I'm Mr. Bucket. A ball is what I'm about. I'm Mr. Bucket. We're all going to run. I'm Mr. Bucket. Oh. Mr. Bucket from Milk and Brown. All right. Now that we're not on terrestrial radio, <laughs> yes. yeah. what I want to do with Mr. Bucket <laughs> is I want to put my cock right in his fucking bucket nose mouth <laughs> and drop warm liver into him so it fucking shoots... Like warm liver all over my fucking <laughs> all over your cock, his Mr. Bucket throat. <laughs> as the, your balls come out of his mouth, and as I'm fucking Mr. Bucket, if the parents walk in, I'll, I'll give him that fucking Mr. Roper smile. Where <laughs> <laughs> you just turn around, and make that dopey smile. Yeah, the and they'd they'd, they'd, they'd they'd like stay on him for a while. <laughs> Where are we at? <laughs> One more runner up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. It out all of your cock. <laughs> Mr. Bucket. Uh, another runner-up line of the day. You know, he would do like little self-depreciating black guy jokes, and you know how people love that. Oh, yeah. And yeah. later he Say would rape them. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. And when Ron said that they went to see fucking uh, Brian Regan, they just brought a covered dish. <laughs> a covered <Yeah>. dish. <laughs> Why did we even bother doing the first three hours of radio? Mm. Nothing funny from the first three, huh? Lots of stuff. Here's your line of the day. Here, here, here comes. Line of the day, line of the day, line of the day. Ankle bracelet, you're saying, E Rock? That would never be an option for you if you committed a crime. You know that, right? <laughs> have to cut it off with a hacksaw. <laughs> you can't get to the latch. My God, we just it put would, this thing on. We got to get a larger one. His leg would grow over it like when a tree eats a sign on the side <laughs> of the road. <laughs> Oosh. Us indeed. Wow. They um following the E Rock formula for the line of the day. Yes. Make fun of the E Rock, you get line of the day. You instantly get line of the day. S Stone Cold Steve Austin on the show tomorrow? I think so, yeah. All right. And also Otto and George and Voss. And Voss. Stone Cold Steve Austin. There's probably a couple of people very excited about tomorrow's show. I would think E Rock, very excited. I would think Sam. Very excited. Is he bringing in the belt? Is Stone Cold a hero of yours? No. Someone you look up to? Someone you admired? Did you know his hero list? He ain't on it. Fucking it it's Dad and Opie. <laughs> <laughs> Hulk Hogan. And Hulk Hogan. Honestly, answer correctly. Did you ever get choked up listening to that song, Hulkster in Heaven? No. <laughs> you know the song? Yeah, I sent it to them. You what? When they played it, I sent it to them. Why? Because I had it. You thought it was nice? What do you like about Hulk Hogan? That he's one of your heroes. I used to like him when when he was wrestling. Explain why. Yeah. I don't know why did why does anybody like him? He was exciting to watch. Excited. So he, he made you excited. Why did he make you excited? <sighs> Tell us. I don't. It, I just did. What was you your know? fantasy with Hulk? That he would be your friend or pick you up and take you to the mall? What did you want with Hulk? No. <laughs> don't you even come in? You there, wanted to be a, a little Hulkster. Are you a Hulkamaniac? I was. Were you? I was a kid. Did you wear the Hulk outfit? No, because uh, my, the dad, hunk. <laughs> my dad hated wrestling and refused to uh, buy me anything. Yeah. yeah. You know what that was about, right? He thought you were gay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Little fruity son with a bunch of <laughs> wrestling shirtless <action> man posters. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking laying there with a tent, in your little fat boy pants, watching Hulk Hogan with his fucking his blonde mullet. Did you go to the uh, wrestling shows and and like see Hulk rip his shirt off? No. And then what did the it Hulk would happen with you? But just after lunch, <laughs> what did uh, what did the Hulk preach? 
Yeah. To uh, train, say your prayers, and eat your vitamins. Yeah. Why didn't you listen? <laughs> <laughs> hey, the fat thing is only recent. I never was like <laughs> It's only recent. <laughs> That's a sound I how he defends himself by saying the fat thing is only recent. Relatively speaking, recent. Like, you know. Vietnam. <laughs> How is Hulk a hero? What did he give him a hero? That's a I big statement. Yeah. You put that as an adult. You didn't put that as a child. It was fucking, it was your dad, it was Opie, and it was, it was fucking Hulk Hogan. Did you wish he would give you the leg drop? <laughs> no. Yeah. No. The leg drop. I don't know, growing up in the 80s, you, you watched wrestling, you liked Hulk Hogan. Did you? I grew yeah. up in the 80s. I watched wrestling. Yeah, but you're a little older than <laughs> I me. I preferred Bob Backlund. I oh, he just bashed you, Jimmy. I like the uh, Ivan Trotsky. Old. The Polish Hammer. Yes. And who do you like? Chief, um, Chief J? Um, no, I was pretty much a fan of... Uh, I have no fucking Bruno, idea. Bruno? I really didn't Bruno care Sam about Martino. wrestling in the 80s. <laughs> Ultimate oh, oh, Warrior? I didn't care about wrestling until um, we were on the radio. And, uh, and it was worth our while to give a shit about wrestling. Yeah, we had to make believe. I, yeah. I remember that, too. But then I kind of got into it like a soap opera, you know? You kind of watch a few episodes and go, hey, what's going on there? I was a big fan of Andre the Giant. Yeah, he was the one. There you yeah. go. Andre. That Do you know I need my cock after a midget wrestler? <laughs> oh. Co I swear to God, Coconut Willie. <laughs> <laughs> you call your cock Coconut I Willie? Kid I did, yeah. My, I just named my penis Coconut Willie because I saw a little man <laughs> named Coconut Willie, and I just thought that that should be what your genitals are called. <laughs> Pretty uh, good. It's not bad. Yeah. Sam, excited about uh, Stone Cold coming in? Extremely Jesus. excited, yeah. D Rock threw the mic at him. I'm mean, you... not my hero or anything, but yeah, I'm pretty pumped. Now, are you bringing in the belt? No. Why? Because I figured once I got the belt out of here in one piece, <laughs> you were lucky that I would not press my luck again. You know what I would do with the belt? What's that? I would have every wrestler <laughs> sign the back of it. See, I was thinking about that, but technically. Uh, Stone Cold didn't hold that belt. It doesn't matter. It's like, I think if you kept going for years but and got wrestlers to sign that belt, it would be worth a lot of so money. much money yeah. after they like die. I think 20 years from now, if you have wrestlers that are wrestling now... I uh, have uh, a steel chair yeah. that for like oh. two and a half years, oh, I've been getting wrestlers to sign. Well, let's Do you lug, lug a chair around, huh? Oh, is yeah. that uh, someone signing your chair? Yeah, it's yes. Stone Cold. Oh, it is Stone Cold. Yes, yes, yes it is. Um, I'd like to fuck it. I'd like to put like get really wet clothes and then just sit on that chair. <laughs> <laughs> just you know, Windex it once. <laughs> it's hey, Bill, gone. Bill from Waterford. E Rock probably used to try to rip his own shirt off, but he was too lazy and fat body to do so. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He'd like go and he'd tear it and then fatly fall through a glass table. <laughs> when would you give up? When would you give up on trying to rip your own shirt off? <laughs> uh, yeah, George the Animal Steel, sure. He didn't turn buckle. Mm -hmm. They should have kicked him out of the league for that. Yeah. No, no, no uh, reason for that. <laughs> Why don't we do a little Iron Sheik, because that's Ant's favorite. Iron Sheik, as we uh, say goodbye today. I do, Sheik. Thanks, Geraldo. A pleasure, man. Thanks, oh, fellas. Yes. Thanks for having me. That wasn't a Thanks lot, for popping was a in, fun. sure. I learned a lot about eating uh, pussy. Eating some pussy, yeah. yeah. Remember that pussy good. Yeah. <laughs> And there's the, uh, smells like mushroom. I got to find that doctor that does the shocker. <laughs> yeah. I See got if they'll help you out, right? I, I got a doctor hurt. for you. <laughs> I went in for strep throat, and he stuck a finger on my ass. Nice. Yeah, it's not good. once, but twice. Did it work? Checking the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> and, of course, the lovely girls of Pal Talk. When is uh, Miss Pal Talk? Tomorrow, $500. Tomorrow, 500 bucks up for grabs. Yep. Miss Pal Talk. I see Anything a goes. I see a winner up on the screen right now. The cute, sweet Jody. Where's Jody? Isn't she adorable? Where's Jody? Like she's not shaking her head. No, she gets so embarrassed. Why is Jody embarrassed? She's got such lovely red hair. I can't. Aunt likes very. Aunt prefers a younger looking gal. Which I just. I. Fine. I think she's very cute. She was at what, FH. I don't like old ragged whores. I'm, listen, I'm not saying. Listen. <laughs> she was on. at FH. I, yeah, I met her at FH. Colonel from Boogie Nights. I'm not saying you do. Colonel. <laughs> 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 I, I don't so, do anything with them. <laughs> they're just so cute. Oh, that's hysterical. Colonel from Boogie Nights. Do you just pick him up and hold him? Just say you're my friend, Opie. <laughs> Opie, say you're my friend. <laughs> wow. So oh, is that bad? Uh, who's going to win Miss Pal Talk? <laughs> who's the favorite? 
Uh, a lot of people saying baby girl. Who's going to win tomorrow? Yeah, a lot of people saying Marissa. Uh, but now that the angle's been thrown in where it's also um, kind of a talent competition. Red rum. You got to uh, think red rum. You got to. I don't know. It's all up for grabs at this point. Do we just go with sheer looks or do we go with a talent competition? Yeah. Hmm. We'll find out tomorrow. There's your big tease for today. <laughs> Jody's like, I'm not doing shit. Don't worry. <laughs> Yeah, just, just, just like blow dry your hair and put some makeup on tomorrow. You'll be fine. Can I you already did something. You pulled your hair back in that ponytail. She had to like, she had to get up and bend over and pull it into a ponytail. I think pigtails will win tomorrow. Pigtails might uh, garner a favor with me. Pigtails with a baseball bat up your ass. I think no, uh, a baseball. Bat. A, what? A lisp and an altered birth certificate. <laughs> yeah, that uh, that'll get you right to the top tomorrow. Uh, or, or be funny, like have like a half a log sticking out of your ass and just spin in a circle. Wait, what's the half a log that goes back in called again? Oh, uh, 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 the old, oh, wait. Dipsy doodle? The old dipsy doodle. The old dipsy doodle. <laughs> like, when a girl's on her stomach and she, she kind of starts to shit and the log pokes it <laughs> like a soldier of a tank, uh, that's the old dipsy doodle. The old dipsy uh, doodle. Or the, or the old looky-loo. looky-loo. <laughs> <laughs> looky it takes a little look around. Yeah, the old peekaboo. Soldier coming out of a, 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 a foxhole for a second. Yeah, yeah. just taking yeah. a peek around. Uh, he just swims out of the cave, goes back into the cave. <laughs> uh, Shit me a sheep shank. <laughs> a tipsy doodle. <laughs> tipsy doodle. The old dipsy doodle. But the difference, uh, Greg, sure. Greg has to know. Yeah. The difference is like when you're on your stomach, the shit pokes out. That's like the old peekaboo. That's but just a little one, yeah. The dipsy doodle <laughs> is when she's squatting and she lets the piece come out and like she sucks it back up and it kind of curls and swipes the side of the leg. <laughs> yeah, it swings a little, yeah. It gets a little wild like a oh, monkey tail. disgusting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of which one is hotter. I don't know. Uh, I, it depends on what I'm in. I can eat a yeah. tomato tomorrow. Everyone's got their own uh, <laughs> take on it. Wow. Wow. That is just brutal. Uh, and someone's got to tell Oscar De La Hoya he can't be in the Miss Pal Talk contest tomorrow. <laughs> How fucking uh, how fucking embarrassing for Oscar man! God Ugh. damn. Yeah, that's you don't want to be wearing fish a fishnet outfit Not when and you're ladies' the, panties when your job is to fucking hit people. Like he's a tough Beat guy. Beat the shit out of people. Yeah. He he's should a, just wear that in the ring the next time. Hey, <laughs> hey uh, painted nails. Uh, fluster the uh, hey. What gets opposition? Cut, what gets cut from the replay now that we went late? Uh, I don't know. I gotta ask Danny. Well, let's not do it all willy nilly. <laughs> let's fucking. I say the. Uh, <clears throat> The interview we did. Okay. It's an easy choice today. <clears throat> easy choice today, if you know what I mean. Okay. Let's do that. Right. Greg Geraldo, Gotham, tonight through Sunday. We're out. Thanks, Nancy. Guys. Later. This is Aaron Sheik, World Wrestling uh, uh, Federation, three-time <laughs> champion, All-American AAU champion. Champ Pleasure one. for me to the uh, Anthony and Opium. Bring me here to New York to I say hello to the, all my...